Greetings and welcome to the One Six Scale Man. Probably presents another episode of You Know What It Is. It is Comic Book Talk with Friends on Monday. So glad to have you guys here with us as we have a chat, talk about the things we love in the comic universe and other things, man. We just gonna have a good celebration, have a good conversation. So thank you guys, everybody who's actually tuning in. Make sure on your way in, you hit that like button, like this thing right here tells you to do. Subscribe to the channel. And we can definitely keep it moving. And also hit that, that notification bell so you can get all the goodness, everything that's actually going on in the videos that drop, everything. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for being here today. Before we jump in, got to bring the fellas through. Uh, it's crazy because I think Jason dipped right out as soon as we came in. His internet just shut off. He was freezing up yeah. before we came in. Yeah, It was freezing up. So He yeah, was giving yeah. us some computer love. And, you know, back yeah, there, so. and it just yep. dropped right on out, bro. Damn. Good old Max damn. Hedrum. Mm -hmm. Good old Max Hadrill, man. Damn, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Straight up, man. What's going on? What's going on, V? How you doing, bro? Chilling, man. Just, uh, man, it was cold today. I was like, uh, I, I was not feeling it at work. I just wanted to get home and work on some stuff in the room and, and uh, you know, do pick catch up on some reading and stuff. Uh, had a lot of fun this weekend. We had yeah. um big video game uh like party at the crib and had like multiple tvs and emulators and just old school video games some marvel versus capcom Super mario kart all that all that fun stuff and a bunch of people mm -hmm. over the crib and it was fun man it was it was like a good time we're, we're gonna do that again soon i can't believe i haven't done that yet so yeah. definitely that was this that the first soon. the first the first the very first time right <laughs> yeah like we you know you know we've done a million movie thons but i don't think yeah. i've ever done like a, a video game thon i used to do uh you know some like sleepovers with uh my cousins and my nephews and stuff like that and bring stuff over to their house but i, I haven't ever really had a big party here for just like purposes purposely for video games and it, it was a hit it was fun it was Word. a lot a lot of cool uh games and a lot of memories and you know like nostalgia games and shit like that so that was fun <clears throat> and other than that just like catching up on some reading some drawing and uh you know just looking forward to uh talking with you fine fellas on this uh combo talk with friends monday night Heck yeah, bro. Thank you for being here as always. Uh, Bloom, what's going on with you, brother? Ah, uh, man. Uh, chilling out, bro. I had a, a little, I don't, I don't want to say it was somewhat of a busy day, but I had a few things to take care of today. Mm -hmm. I'm locking in on probably a second gig here. So, word. You know, we'll see what's up with that. There uh, you go. Word. I'll keep you updated with the time and all of that. But, you know, that people got to pay the bills around here. Hell yeah, bro. Um, Hell yeah. yeah. Other than that, man, just kind of was chilling. Uh, kind of ran across a really, really cool uh, manga that's just starting up. Um, I'm not even about to try to pronounce it because <laughs> the name is crazy. Um, not even like in uh, any content, but it's like uh, hard to pronounce. It's like full Japanese. So, um, but yeah, just chilling out, man. Hope everybody out in the chat, everybody's viewing, uh, is having a great Monday. And uh, man, let's get into it. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. So glad to have. The fellas in here, as always, as we go through it all, because uh, it definitely makes sense uh, uh, to have y'all in here, man. We got a lot to you know cover, some fun stuff to cover, some some things we're going to definitely talk about. But before we actually do that, and before I actually get into the chat, I got to say what up to the uh, peoples, you know, and the, and the places where we basically get these figures from. If you know, you know. Uh, definitely want to give a shout out to my man Ray over there at underground figures that's every day all day ray from underground figures if you ain't got it he'll get it for you reasonably priced when it comes to no in you know when it comes to shipping and handling no nrd on top of that full transparency straight up if you need to contact him he'll respond in such a timely manner because he's dope like that been rocking with this guy from day one he's gonna let me know because i think my i think my uh um friendly neighborhood is my toby is, is supposed to be arriving this week i'm not sure that mm. i gotta see i gotta see hopefully he said because there's hot side show is sending them out in batches so you already know how that goes bro anyway yeah i told you i'm like eighth batch so it, it's like i don't, I don't yeah. know where i'm at it's this. crazy it's definitely crazy but yep all day every day ray that is my guy you just hit him up and let him know that leo sent you and he'll definitely take care terry <laughs> carry you such a good guy like that so he's dope so give him a shout out Tell him your boy sent you, and he'll definitely take care of you. Uh, next up, we got my man Ray. Ray over there at Underground Figures. Now, what's going to happen is Ray, he got some things cooking. 
he got some things cooking. So you're going to see the eBay store change up a little bit. Did y'all, did somebody buy the damn uh, Chewy and Han two pack over the weekend? I don't know. You can't find it. I showed it on fi- a figure flex Friday when I was doing this bit. And I don't, I don't know if it's there anymore. <laughs> Let me see. Let's see. I don't see it. Uh, somebody could have got it, bro. You know, it is. Mm. I mean, it, it's yeah. probably still there somewhere. Um, there it is. You see it? Okay, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say, damn, right there, bro. <laughs> he and just it's... added a whole bunch of uh, shit on top of it. That's what he yeah. did. Okay, and it's marked down. So there you go. Eight seventy-five. I know you think about it. Your hands is itching, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> My wallet, like. <laughs> Please, no. Yeah, right. Definitely, man. Definitely. But shout out to my man Ray all day, every day for the good stuff. If you're looking for it, he'll definitely take care of you. Also, we got my man Watch Your Sixth over there at Comic Relief and Comic Collectibles. Comic books, one Tim scale, 112. You got, you know, six scale statues, everything you're looking for. You name it. He got it. He'll definitely take mm-hmm. care of you. Everybody over there. Give him a shout. Tell him that your boy sent you. And last, but certainly, definitely not least, uh, wanted to give a shout out to my man, or uh, Brian, uh, over there at Maju Space. Uh, definitely, you want to head on over there if you're looking for a dope display. Uh, he'll definitely take care of you. He got you back. He's actually part of the community. A lot of people got his pieces. So, again, if you're looking for a dope display, hit him up, uh, and he'll take care of you. It's letting him the raid. Leo has been talking about it all day. Um, so, yeah. Definitely hit him up. Also, just wanted to remind y'all, head on over there to Vincent Dunn Art. Pick up some pieces. If you if you don't already know, you can go to his page. The link is on his Instagram page. Definitely hit him up. Dope pieces over there. Dope prints if you're looking for it. Uh, so, so make sure that you go through. He got a whole catalog here. I think if you go to the last, the very last page, he got a dedication to Pootie Tang. It's him <laughs> <laughs> putting some catnip outside his door before he steps away. So definitely, bro, who <laughs> wanted to give shout Much out? Much appreciated. Yeah, man. Lots of stuff on there. Um, updating it all the time. Have uh, original art on there too, and everything. So prints. Hell yeah. And then uh, yeah, yeah. Lots of lots of on there. You could search by category, whatever you want. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So definitely make sure that you guys stop through and get nothing. But the best. Let me see who we got in the chat right now with us. We got Pedro Lopez in the building. Thank you for being here, my guy. We got Tia One and Mike is in the building, um, aka King Trudeau is in the building, Blazing Asian. We got Latoya T is in the building. What's going on, baby? We got Ariel Pico in the building. What's up? What's up, good people? What's going on with you? Thank you for being here. So we got a few people skirting through, uh, you know, every now and then. Uh, But, you know, let's start off. We're going to basically talk about the artist of the week now Vinny. this is one uh that you uh had brought up and wanted to basically talk about yeah. um and i was like yeah i mean it's look women's history month and we got to definitely spread that love and also bring up some incredible artists uh and this one is i love the simple fact that she is responsible for a lot that she doesn't get she gets credit for it but a lot of people don't know it. you know what i mean uh you know definitely innovation and inventor and the reason why we actually have harley the way we do the harley animated series and just the basically the character itself she is definitely the inspiration for it that is none other than amanda connor so definitely uh an incredible artist you can go ahead benny yeah uh we were always thinking of uh great artists to feature with this uh spotlight we do every week and um it just like crossed my mind that I don't think we've done many uh, females yet, and there's absolutely yeah. uh, some great ones out there. And yes, yes, um, yes. there's a, there's a few I want to get to, but I think one of the most uh, prolific ones, at least in you know modern era, is probably Amanda Connor for her work with uh, you know DC over the past I don't know, damn near a decade now, I guess. Um, she, uh, I guess, most notable work with uh, Harley Quinn. But she's also done some great stuff with uh, Power Girl and uh, just a bunch of, um, you know, other titles she's done. Uh, Worked with uh, Gargoyles, which, of course, you know me, I'm a big Gargoyles guy. And uh, Birds of Prey. And just um, she's just been, like, really, really consistent. Um, just, just 
absolutely like solid artist like clockwork you know uh Mm -hmm. i I like her style her style is clean and neat it's not super fancy it reminds me very much of um like a patrick gleason or or terry dawson where it's a very uh bombshell type Mm -hmm. and to me that's that's great because there's always been like a big i mean let's just face it without getting into like too much like controversy or nothing there's been in in recent years like controversy as far as uh the female form with comics and how men draw women in comics and 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 people who have pushed back against the over sexualization and stuff like that and here's a a woman who does draw female superheroes it makes it blatant bro voluptuously and just as you know um you know just as just as ironically as dudes do so it kind of lends a, a, a kind of a credence to the art form that it isn't always necessarily wrong to draw you know women the way that you know men have for years super supposed like, to like look like the best of us you know what i mean it's i mean look, good. you never really see any guys come in and say hey why is uh you know he man drawn all swole or superman drawn all swole why don't you draw him you know skinny and cover him up no one ever says put a shirt on he man so Mm -hmm. (laughs) we yeah no we don't we don't i mean their their argument is is valid of course and there's i don't want to take away anything from people who feel uncomfortable by whatever and that's fine that's your prerogative but Mm -hmm. it is kind of a double a catch-22 like there's you know it's an unlikely standard for women to live up to based on how some women are drawn but but the same thing goes for us not everybody you know not every one of us sure as hell don't look like he man or superman and that's how every man in comics ever forever has been drawn like even a reporter at the daily you know planet or bugle like everybody's drawn swole in in comics that they're due so mm-hmm. it's it just goes to show it's a it's a over you know, it's it's a heightened, you know, over saturated thing where women are drawn a certain way in comics, men are drawn a certain way in comics. Anyways, there's a lot of fem- female uh, artists who have came in and tried to tone that down. More power to them. Amanda Connor is someone who likes the just traditional style, of and she plays around with it, bro. She toils with it on a. She on has a, on a no high qualms level. with drawing nope. some nope. some TNA. Nope. And she'll let you know. Like, I was watching, because when you mentioned it, I went back and I watched the video of her on YouTube. Yeah. And this was one of the things that came up. And she was like, well, it's the it's the female anatomy. Yeah. If it's me as a female and I'm basically drawing it, I want to draw the character as opposed to not just alluding, like, sexuality or anything like that. But yeah. he, she wants to make the character charming. She wants to make it, you know, sightly, but at the same time, drawing the attention to not just the female, but her capabilities and stuff like that. But she was like, she has no qualms with doing it. She has no problem with doing it. Yeah. She's like, look, women have been drawn overly sexualized so much in comics. And the thing is, when you and the one thing, the key word that she the key thing that she said was when you try to change it is when you create that you, you create that narrative when you right. try to change it. That's when you basically put the focus on it and people are like, okay, you're part of that narrative. She's right. like, look, it's not that, look, she's not drawing it over sex. She's drawn it exactly the way she wants it to be drawn. Yep. You know what I mean? What, what she's drawn to and how she basically see these characters. Right. And of course we know one of the most important characters to her is Harley Quinn. Right. You know what I mean? She loves Harley Quinn. So she's going to draw the character exactly how her whatever her perception of of that character Look, is if, if you and it just it just goes to show like it's not inherently bad if you are if, if a woman dresses provocatively and you tell her to cover up that's taking away her power and and what she wants to do and there's no difference from telling you know somebody to oh draw them covered up that's the same that's the same thing and mm-hmm. a lot of times mm-hmm. when they then draw them in a different way where it's more modest it that becomes the focus and the point of the book like now now your your goal isn't to tell a great story about wonder woman it's to tell a story where wonder woman's covered up like that becomes your focus and that becomes the mm-hmm. focus that people that people like are, are caught up in instead of whatever else was going on in that story so it takes away more than it adds to and i think this is a, a, an artist who 
um, isn't caught up in the politics of of pleasing people who aren't even reading these comics in the first place. And yeah. that tends to be the thing. Speak it's on. a lot of it's a lot of people who are like, you know, they're upset about, you know, the violence in comics and sexuality in comics. And they don't even read comics. They just want something to complain about. And then you're going out of your way to please them. And uh, th- they're not even your demographic. There's they're somebody who passed by on 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 the shelf or seen a you know, kid reading it or whatever. It's like, I mean, you're that's a slippery slope. And this is someone who doesn't play into mm-hmm. that game. No. And I've always had respect for that because it's one thing for us to say, hey, this, that, and the third about women. But when a woman does, it's just like, hey, she said it, not me. <laughs> she right. says, cool. Yeah. Then, you know, who am I to say, no, cover <clears throat> up Power Girls titties. I ain't going to be the one to tell her that. She's cool with it. I'm cool with it. You know, <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyways, her art style is dope. Her art style is really fun and full of life and vibrant. And I don't care what's going on in an Amanda Connor comic. It seems like it's alive. So yeah. I love her style. I love her, like, the the. Heart. I don't know, it's man. Cute. Some of these people have never, never been outside. Because uh, no. when I go outside, I see things. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, yeah. Um, and this is indicative of what I see, you know? Yeah. Um, we can have a whole other con- – it's a whole other conversation when we're talking about – uh, self-esteem and why a person may dress the way they dress but mm-hmm. this is what's presented to me and so yeah. i can only take what the experience that i have from actually yeah. going outside and touching grass and seeing yeah. and, and talking to other people especially females and number one thing i want to say is that the female body is a powerful thing it's a powerful yeah. i don't even want to say entity it's a thing i want to say entity a powerful yeah. thing right mm-hmm. especially what it could do to us men <laughs> yeah you know it, it's listen power of the p there's not much yeah. thing as power that, of but also the body that the female body is responsible literally directly responsible for mm-hmm. creating and nurturing life mm-hmm. that's it's it a, that's it's a, it's a that's happy power of me just full of life yeah, that's that's exactly what Lumi said. Her art looks yep. bubbly and full of life. And that's yep. how it is. And that's the thing is, it's like how comics have been drawn for years. But it's not like basically artists have been drawing females to be damsels, bro. No. Exactly. One of, you know what I mean? They're, they're drawing with a certain level, uh, with a, a high level of strength. They're drawing these characters with attitude, presence. You know what I mean? A level of confidence. Like they should be, you know what I mean? So again, it's just that when you're pushing a narrative, know where the source comes from. And if the source is a female, obviously she sees it that way. You know what I mean? We see that every single day. If you turn on the TV, if you're watching a video, if you're watching even commercials now, this is the way it is. It's it's basically the way life is. You want, you know, the spotlight is there. So if you have a female who is, you know, an artist who is, weighing heavily into that space and just letting you know like i don't care what y'all say this is what i want how i want to draw these characters how i see these characters and and, and amanda's not afraid to do it at all bro not at all and i love it I definitely no doubt. Love it, bro definitely people gonna get it. tired and people it probably already are and people gonna get tired of this you know respectability politics and all of this stuff that just seems yeah. very manufactured if yeah. there's stuff that is offensive Let's talk about it. But if mm-hmm. it ain't, and you know, it's not hurting anybody, and people are just manufacturing hate or manufacturing, you know, outrage, if you will, mm-hmm. just just to get a get a win, get a W. I just think that is, you know, that those group of people need to look within themselves because they have at that point have become exactly what they hated. Yeah, right? you've literally seen yourself become exactly. What you got in this game to try to root out? You've become bro. It. You know what the crazy part is, and I was thinking about this. Like, and Vinny, you know, we go to the cons. We walk around. Even me and Toy, we go to the cons. We're walking around. The first thing that we look at is the cosplayers. What are they wearing? You know, are they capturing the actual essence of the character that they are? Big? And we go around. We walk around. We take pictures. We take photos and stuff like this. Is what we do. But you find, and this is crazy, at cons, you find that the women are always trying to outdo each other. 
they are literally there. Let's see who, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> who can have the most oh wow moment when it comes to costumes. And right. they do that, but they do it in a way that is fun, it's playful, and sometimes they even want <laughs> that level of, of attention. But at the same time, there's no one that walks around a con being disrespectful. Right. Like they're just like, yo, let me just take the picture, or yo, can you, you know what I mean? They're taking pictures with him and stuff like that. Nobody's walking around being being disrespectful. Hey, hey, listen, oh. I heard, I heard a little something, something. Okay, I heard that, and this is from a friend that there was a girl at some con somewhere. She was dressed up as Sydney Moon, looking looking for looking for a Spider Man and slobbing down folks. I'm like, all right, well, I gotta give me, a, I gotta give me a super suit. That's what. That's what it sounds like. She was dressed hey, up as Sydney mean, Moon, bro. Yeah, silk. Word. Going well, yeah. Around. Bro, going around there's been, a, near yeah. Comic Con, there was a whole bunch of silks walking around, bro. Mm-hmm. There was a whole, and I've seen at least two of them at the um Awesome Con. So there's like silk is you see <laughs> silk, bro. Hey, with, with great with great power. You know, oh, hey, listen. Comes great responsibility. Comes bro. great responsibility. Yeah. 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 Look, look, look. I'm it's, not to wear a cup. You know, I it, can't be just going straight there, up. A lot. Just raw dogging there, up in the soup, man. They, yeah, everybody man, gonna see the there's, eggplant. There's a lot of there's a lot of of people who, like I said, who don't even read, who is worried about how how these characters looking but the fans who are actually reading actually enjoying it mm-hmm. actually cosplaying they're going out there mm-hmm. and embracing their sexuality and and, and however they feel and they're looking time, knowing that they won't be judged yep. because that's that's the that's the vibe that's hey ladies that. love titties too y'all that's getting lost in the Bro, whole you, conversation you know. You know, oh, I love it. Let me love the titties too. Just as much as we love go. the titties. There you go. So you have a conversation with a girl about some boobs, and they be like, "Yeah, that's there you, those are great. I suck on them too." Hey, like, I don't fucking get it, bro. This shit is fucking annoying, man. Bro, <laughs> listen, Toya. All right, I'll give you an example. Toya, we'll walk around and she'll see a female. And she's quick to tell you, like, if the suit looks good, if the outfit looks good, she'll take a picture. If they're killing it, she'll be the it. first to let them know. And she catches them off guard when she definitely, definitely does it. But she'll also tell you if somebody's actually going above I and beyond. And Vinny, we know we can spot it. We, we know. always know. We always know the ones, especially when they want to hand you a card after they're done, like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Like, yeah. they always do that. But you can always I tell. Yeah. Man, that's what they definitely do. I love it. But here's the thing: is it's like again, like <laughs> this is a good, honestly, bro. Represent the night. Boy. Is he breaking up again? Yeah, he's Computer he's love. Yeah, he, he's he's <laughs> he's only glitching. He's only glitching. But, only, yeah, only glitching about the OnlyFans, man. But oh, it's what? but but I'm saying, like I said, one of the biggest things is, bro. Like again. Wonder Woman has been drawn the way Wonder Woman, is, Wonder Woman has been drawn for years. Yeah, mm-hmm. for years. You know what I mean? It's 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 mm-hmm. nothing. It, and, and the thing is, a lot of these artists will go in on that because number one, this is look. Amanda will tell you she mm-hmm. was like, look, mm-hmm. sexuality is in comics. A lot of people basically mm-hmm. are, especially you get like a lot of guys, and that's how they were actually drawn. But she said, but for her, mm-hmm. and what she said was she's leaning in on it because that's actually what she wants to see. Like that's what she like. Simple. It's just it's it's not that complicated, man. It's, no. it's really ridiculous how certain mediums have to pretend like we don't have uh we weren't constructed and built the way we are as human nature. I ain't nature. trying to see human no nature. noodle neck ass Superman fight no goddamn yeah. alien. Go look, look, ain't, out, ain't nobody go. trying to see you know, ain't nobody trying to see uh, Wonder Woman in, in like a, a, a full uh, on uh, suit and dress and armor all covered up and nobody trying to see Superman in a hoodie like all covered up. It's they're they're you know demigods and, and pow- all powerful beings and their their body types are meant to represent that you know what i mean like that's just mm-hmm. part of the gig that's part of the gig i mean it's it, it's it's since the 30 since the 40 i mean they're drawn this way with the oh, yeah i mean literally like superman's design comes from the strongman competitions when they used to wear the the yeah. underwear over their singlets so that way you couldn't see what mm-hmm. was going on like that that was a functional design for superman mm-hmm. like that wasn't just just because they thought it would look different. Like, that was a functional design. It's been that way since the 
thirties. It's it, it's not something that's just inherently evil or just just you know wrong. It's just the human nature is the body. Like it's what's wrong is to act like we're not people, we're not humans, and, and, and everything is wrong and evil inherently, and that the body is immoral and that's been bullshit, man. The body is beautiful, men and women's bodies. Just draw them how you want to draw them. If you want to draw them all a Harley Quinn all covered up, you want to draw a Harley Quinn with cleavage, that's that's the artist's prerogative. And here you have Amanda Connor, who doesn't have any qualms about drawing the women she draws as bombshells, so more power to her. Hell yeah. And this Harley Quinn show is off the meter, bro. No doubt. It is off the racks, bro. Like, they... they, they, they Jedi, did you watch? Have you watched Harley Quinn, the animated show? Is he here? He was. He was. Oh, yeah. me. What? <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. Jay, you breaking up, man. You in the Matrix, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Here we go. It's going to be one of those right. nights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely going to be one of those nights, man. One of those nights. Anyway, here you go. Amanda Connor, who gives zero Fs. Yep. She draws it how she sees it, how she wants it. Mm -hmm. And that's just her. That's who she is. And we love her for it. You know what I mean? We love her for it. We love her for being as daring as she is. But also just letting you know yeah. that, you know, women can be strong and sexy at the same time. And that's just the way she portrays it. That's how she yeah. draws her, 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 her art. And that's just the space that she's in. And she's like, like it or leave it. You know what I mean? That's just the way it is. So, yeah, I don't know, bro. People people out there need to calm down yeah. and just straighten. Just wake up and stop being so daggone sensitive, man. That's just the way it is. It's, it's, that's how I see it anyway. Man, your human body's supposed to make you feel things, bro. Yeah, man. You know? I, I can't tell you how many chicks I done saw that have been around the corner, like, looking at a dude, like, yeah. Yeah. Or a girl, like, uh, uh, same thing we do. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, comics did come from starting, like, I mean, their primary audience was and probably still is men. I mean, there's only so much sense it makes to, like, completely shift the, you know, the focus and, and pander to a, a portion of a demographic who isn't going to be able to support you the same way that your core demographic mm -hmm. does. And this absolutely makes sense to like give them books and give them some things that d does cater to them, but to shift the whole industry based on a minority is a bad business decision. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely, bro. Bad business model for people mm -hmm. who are the most inconsistent when it comes to their dollars. Exactly. They they, they have some some real dollar power, but they all they got they're fighting on so many damn fronts. Yo, it's like McDonald's making their whole menu vegan. What yeah. would they do that for? They're they're they that's not who they are focusing mm -hmm. to. That's not who pays their bills. Mm -mm. No. Put put not some salads on the menu, fine, but you can't take all the burgers off. Yeah, you can't, bro. So stop playing, stop playing yourself. Go out buy some comics, women. Be as sexy as you want to be. Be as confident as you want to be. And, yeah, that's what it's all about. Shout out to Amanda Connor for just being who she is, being as daring and just and an incredible individual. So I'm, I'm done with the limitations. We already trying to tell them how and when they can have a baby. I'm, just, I'm done with the shit. Just let people mm -hmm. fucking live, dog. Let them live. Especially these fucking yeah. comic characters. Let, let them, them live. live. Let them live and let them be who they are, bro. Like it, the thing is, it's it's crazy because you think about it. Like uh, I think it was like when I who was it? Uh, who was it? Zack Snyder when he got that mm -hmm. flack for he got a whole bunch of flack for uh, the movie Sucker Punch because mm -hmm. of how he portrayed the women in that film, and he was like obviously you didn't pay attention to the narrative and what it was about and why I did it that way. But then there is a whole slew of films that follow. And it's just like everybody, it's crazy how certain films and certain individuals get a pass versus, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's crazy how that mm -hmm. works. Now, again, there's no disrespect. There's never been any, as, as a matter of fact, there's always uplifting, always trying to make sure that women, you know, have their place in the sun. 
and are able to basically go out there and just, you know, uh, who was that? Put Fabio on the cover. Well, yeah, what did you say? Put Fabio on the cover of a comic book back then. They would have sold so many books. <laughs> right? Right? You know what I mean? Like, that's just the way it is. But again, bro, like, you know, 300, what was that? What did he say? 300 could have been construed the same way idealized bodies were all over that movie. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it was a point for the time. You know what I mean? And that's the crazy part. Like, come on. Shout out to Amanda Connor for being who she is, being such an amazing person, an amazing artist. And if it wasn't for her, you would not have Harley. So you already know how that is, man. Definitely. Definitely. Moving on, I want to go to the pick of the week. Now, the pick, the comic book pick of the week is actually a run that's happening right now. Now, here's the thing. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the simple fact, Vinny, and I know you probably haven't read this yet. A lot of people haven't read this yet. Before you read this, I want you to keep in mind that when you read this book, the similarities to Kingdom Come is all over this series. All, right. all over the series, bro. You have old man Cap. You have old man uh, Luke Cage. You have Tony Stark. I'm not, I don't even want to give it away, but when you find out how he looks in this, you're going to be like, wow, his all son right. is in this book. So there's a lot going on. You know what I mean? That's in this book. But it's hearkening back, and it's almost similar to Kingdom Come with the spin. Uh, and not to give too much away, but they already basically advertised it. Red Skull is basically running right now. He is behind uh, this whole. He's actually running Stark Enterprises right now, bro. Right. Like literally. So First person. Yeah. So there's there's a lot that's going on in this book. You have Old Man Cap, who was stripped of his Superman. I mean, his Super Serum. Uh, but you know, ended up picking it back up again once. There's it, it's it's such an amazing run. But you'd be crazy not to compare this to Kingdom Come, bro. So this is Marvel's version, their take. It's not as 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 vivid as 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 Kingdom Come. It's not as in your face as Kingdom Come, okay. but it's close. It's definitely close. Got you. It, it's definitely close. But it's it's Art a dope... looks crazy on it though. Just yeah. Just off of this little. What show was the title there. again? It's v Avengers Twilight. All right. So I think they're and they they even got like now like so basically, um I think they're on book four now. Okay. Yeah. Bro, the app is so slow. Like I just checked it today. Like, um, Marvel Unlimited. Like they they're barely on like December thirteenth. Mm. Like, the app is like behind. So it's gonna be like another like maybe a couple month a couple yeah maybe a month or two before like. Ultimate Spider-Man, the ultimate line that's running right now for a lot yeah. of people, like before people can like just flip. So that why digitally. is it so slow? Like why is it slowing they down? They probably right want now? people to buy the actual books. They they want to they want to give it a whole lot of like head time, like just how Vinny said, just so people can buy the yeah. actual physical copies. like physical copies of the book yeah. itself. Yeah, they put so yeah. much time and effort into those variant copies as well, so it, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, ask if the Japanese are doing that. No, <laughs> it's like it does uh, right then on the day. Does comicsology come out at, at at the same time? I don't because I've never done really digital comics, so I don't know. But does, I, is comicsology quicker because it's I don't know. Probably not, since I'm yeah. like, I'm just doing this through Marvel Unlimited. So if they're not if they're not as quick as you think, I don't know if comicsology would be. Right, I'm cool. not sure. I don't go through them though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know because like I said, I I'm I'm with you, Vinny. I'm still doing physical copies of pretty much everything right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Going out, getting my polls. Um, I haven't dipped into that space yet. Yeah. Um, you know, it, the thing is, it's like for me, like it it just makes sense for me just to go and pick it up whenever I can. But then I'm glad that spaces like that are around because it's hard for a lot of people to basically go through and, and, and worry about those pulls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this is way too much. You know what I mean? So I, I know that I know the strain of the, the getting your pulls every month, the, the storage strain, the, mm -hmm. the time strain. Like I get it to be able to just pull it up on your iPad or your phone, whatever, like more power. to hey, look, and, it, like that. And, and like the cool fun part of it guys is like, they'll like uh there's a reader mode so like when you're like flipping through like it will enhance the panel 
Like you can go see, panel by panel as they're scrolling you if you want panel to. Panel by panel. Okay. And it's like some of them have a specific like animation as you go through. Okay. That's very very fun, very smooth. Like it'll just like. I imagine that's part of the process of why it's a delay too. Yeah, that, that, they're, they're yeah. Animating shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a whole full on like you know. Yeah, it's not like the animated. Yeah comic movies that they did with a few of those books but it, right. yeah they're still adding it's, a little a little little exactly razzle dazzle yeah. little mm-hmm. razzle dazzle exactly mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. so it, yeah. it makes it fun to to read it as well and kind of adds to the to the reading experience yeah. digitally uh but yeah, yeah uh sometimes i kind of just like man i want to see if i can just flip through that again i'd love to flip through that yeah uh it takes a long time it, the spider boy uh with the run with Bailey, uh, that was like what, like in the middle of last year. Barely got to the app before, like I think actually the top of this year. So Spider Boy Volume One's barely on there now, and it's like it takes a while for uh, Marvel Unlimited. But yeah, if you get your stuff physically, I, I'd say that's probably still the best bet. Yes, you have the, the you know the storage strain and stuff like that, but there's nothing that beats you know picking one of these copies up physically. Um, I also will say is if you don't have, which I don't, would sound crazy to me, if you don't have a comic book store near you, um, the place that I love to go to is uh, called Whatnot. And uh, Whatnot is a, uh, it's an app uh, and it's like, um, what, what do I want to say? Like QVC, basically like live auctioning. Yeah. And people like a whole bunch of comic stores on there. I get some of my Yu-Gi-Oh cards there, like, but just just shit everywhere. Like even yeah. some people will sell hot toys on there, even though it's not as lucrative as other spots we know. But you will go on whatnot, and it is live auctioning, bro. I've grabbed some like fire copies. We talking about X Men? Let me grab this real quick. We talking about X Men tonight? I got this one right here. This is mm-hmm. what. Um, X Men Adventures Season Two, and there's Rogue and uh, Storm on the. This when uh, Storm got like corrupted, and she got like red eyes flashing. Yeah, um, oh yeah. So yeah, I mean, you can get some cool stuff like that. So you know, even if you don't have a physical store that you can go to, um, there's still plenty of places online that will uh, uh, satisfy your comic book needs. That's exactly. The, yeah, bro. Because like I said, I know for me. The hard part about it is, and Vinny, you know this, like if you have a certain shop that you go to with work and everything that's going on, you don't have time to constantly like get there on time. And then you got to like, they'll call you up and be like, hey, we got your polls that you forget. No, I didn't forget. I just can't get there. Like, it's just hard for me to get there right now. It's just like a lot going on. Uh, But yeah, uh, yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, luckily I have a long, long relationship with my my comic shop, and mm-hmm. if if it's a if it's a busy couple months or whatever, and and I don't get there this month, and it's the, going on to the end of the next month, he, he'll just be like, "I'm gonna see you right," and I'm like, "I'm trying. You want me to PayPal you some money or something? I'll be there though." Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I've even done that. Just give him some money, just to hold. Like, look, I'm gonna get there when I get there, and luckily, mm-hmm. you know, my stuff's always just. I might have like a box of shit instead of a bag of shit by the time I get there, but it'll be there. Definitely, definitely. But nah, this definitely is a book um, that you want to pick up, everybody, um, if you can. It's a dope run. It's like it's it's a pretty it's a pretty dope run. And when you basically like, there's a twist to it as well. But it's a very very dope one run. I would actually mm-hmm. suggest picking that up. Also, picking up the Ultimate Black Panther. This is big two book two, and uh, and we even entered uh, the Lady of the Light Storm herself. Is in his book, and there's like yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to chew into this one, bro. Bro, <laughs> I'm getting into the this. The first one two books are in crazy, it, they, bro. They're incredible. They are crazy. I saw the damn variant mm-hmm. cover. Yeah. yeah, and with Shuri with the two Panthers, I was like, yeah, oh bro. my, yeah. This book is Man. amazing. And the thing is, you know what's crazy is that you, when you think of an artist, especially, bro, it seems like every artist is competing with the job of cre- of writing. Or or every artist is competing with a way to design Storm, bro. Like there's so everybody, many bro, designs, bro. Everybody, it's like a constant competition. Who can draw her a certain way? Who can come up with a brand new look? And it's so they're all dope, though. Don't, don't get me wrong, they're dope. 
But this I is like, feel like I'm the only one I ever seen draw with a damn Frodo. Everybody always, it's always the Mohawk. The Mohawk. And we're going to talk about that later, you know, here relax. in a bit, too. Because I'm like, bro. Okay, relax yeah. off the Mohawk, bro. Because mm-hmm. I've seen it. We we like, we get it. We get we it. Get but like, it, man. We've seen the Mohawk. We've seen the lace front. <laughs> We've seen yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm saying, we've seen the pixie, the pixie cut. We... It's just like, all right, bro. We've seen what's, what's up? What's up? We've seen everything. Every, everything but natural hair. Like, relax, but y'all. Natural, like no natural fro, bro. Never. Like nothing. We've never That's seen. I, like I had to draw. Like I'd be telling people when they flip the book, oh, stone. I had to draw because I'd never seen it. I wanted to see it. That's the only reason I did it. Like, yeah. I mean, I get the hot topic look is cool, but that ain't the only thing you could do with her. Yeah. There were, dude, hold up. Remember that girl, bro, at Comic Con? Yes, with that the light head, shining from behind her. Yeah, and she had the white afro, bro. She I wish I had my shit on me, and I would just gave it to her, be like, "Look." Yeah, bro, like that was perfect. It was definitely perfect. Uh, Pedro said the Mohawk is 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 awesome, though. It is. Oh it's yeah, dope. ain't ain't knocking it. But just Look, give us a different iteration, like show us some different right. stuff, man. That's it. That's it. It's just it ain't the only awesome look. That's all. Hey, yeah. listen, there might be some hope. The fact that the costume designer for the person who reimagined that Maddie Franklin uh, suit and, you know, whole character in the Madam Web movie, she had a fro, full mm-hmm. on fro. Mm-hmm. So there might okay. be some hope there just in that, in that frame and that lens through that awful attempt of a movie. Um Maybe, maybe the, uh maybe we get something for this, uh, the storm here, but. I just want yeah. a little something different. I, I, you know, maybe something different from the lace front, something different from the mohawk. You know, um, please don't give her the damn uh, uh, homeboy from uh, Black Panther. I'm just blanking. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Don't give him uh, them dreads. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> not, not the don't give dreads. The, yeah. Don't don't not do the, the Killmonger dreads. or the 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 Miles dreads. Everybody in chat and then Leo Vinny. Have you seen a person in real life wear that, that <laughs> hairstyle? <laughs> Look, and in After every no longer, I did. only only in every video game, that's to create a wrestler fucking one black haircut. That's that's it. It's just that. I've never I seen, ain't it in seen real life. A, a actual person I've that never seen it doesn't have a polygon Yo, count. And, where and that it's always hairstyle. to one it's always to one side. Like, how are you? How is that work? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a black comb yeah, over. I'm a, I'm a, it's like an African American like, comb like over shla- at that point. Shla- it's shellacked over dreads. That's amazing. No, yeah, exactly, Lumi. Right. No it, one, I want to know. She who, teaches in, in, in the South a bit, okay? So she's a if, this, that stuff. <laughs> if, if, if there is a authority on this particular subject, no it way. has to be her. Okay. It's, it's like, how is there no black people who work at these video game companies to be like, what are y'all doing? No one. No, I think it was a black dude that cooked, that cooked up the style. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, this is cool. This is really dope. And then the everybody else was like, you know what? I'm taking that. <laughs> Thanks, Jamal. <laughs> I, I've got it from here. And Bruh. that's what happened. Bro. I, I, I've always wondered, like, where do you get these styles from? Like, that the, the 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 naturalist hairstyle would never really come close. They, you'll never see that shit, bro. Like it was cool. Look, never, it was cool. It was cool because it, it was just like a one-off thing. Yeah. But to, but to act now that that's a regular, common hairstyle mm. is hilarious. But that's the thing. Like when they did that with Killmonger, he fucked up the game because everybody started trying it and everybody started putting it in the game, thinking that okay, this is something that people want to see. Not see, we, we need the to go back to was, not having lineups because man, that's when we was a country. That's when the funniest shit is putting it. Is, people. The funniest shit is putting it in Spider Man too, where Miles had the shit coming. Like the last <laughs> thing Miles would want, the last thing Miles would want anyone to know is that he was a brother. Like he's wearing masks for a reason, yo. He can't. No, but see, and this is the thing that he, that, he be the most arrested. Superhero that's why people was going crazy on on that. You, exactly. That's why people was going crazy on that design. Was like. Negro, like, we know about, that's you. We, you want to talk about menace? They, he'd be arrested <laughs> <laughs> every day, bro. Bro, right. like, who? 
And how can you fit that hair under that mask without people knowing? Like, does that make sense, bro? Like, this you should have kept his hair the way it was, and it was fine. Keep his hair exactly the way it was, and it was cool. Give him See, braids if you want to do anything. Give, but come yo, on, even bro. yo, even if the mask was a regular mask, it would still be poofed up at the top ridiculously. If that was his hair instead of it just being short, it's hilarious, bro. I, I don't bro. know, bro. It's it, some shit that they just don't think about. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. They they don't, but they There's put just, it in games because they believe that that's what everybody wants to see. Yeah, they believe either that's what everybody wants to see, or that nobody will notice or care. Mm, I don't <sighs> know. Say, Give my boy the Dave Chappelle from Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rinse wow. it, nanote- nanotech hair. Yeah. <laughs> the nanotech look. Nanotech. Oh, the nanotech look. Give him that, man. Yeah. So. Ah, hey, listen, the design for Killmonger, they snapped. You know, him and yeah. Gohan look great, right? Him and but Gohan but look great. But, but shit. Like, that's, that's, that, was a, that was a moment, not a constant. Yeah, that's that's all we're saying. It's like, damn, it kind of <laughs> exploded and shit. We start seeing people everywhere with this shit. It's like, we was not wearing that six months ago. No, mm-hmm. no. Nah. None of us were, bro. There was no such <laughs> thing. But like I said, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, Killmonger just effed up the game, bro. <laughs> it was dope in the movie, but that was it. That's as far as it goes. And then they changed his hairstyle again <laughs> in the second film. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, it, it is what it is. Bro. Yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm tripping. He was in the <laughs> spectral plane like, shit. Can y'all yeah, fix me up real quick? <laughs> you know? Bro. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, <laughs> pick up these books, man. Take a look at them. They are out there. They're super dope. Uh, a lot to come by. Um, and yeah, just enjoy it, man. I'll be back with next week with another pick after Wednesday. And yeah, man, read some books. Read some books. There's a lot of good stuff out there that you can actually read over mm-hmm. and take a look at. Now, let's talk. Let's have a chat. Uh, J- uh, uh Jedi Pimp, you in the building? Oh, we thought he was good. Oh, we did think he was good, bro. You in the wrong he room. It, he took his hand off his chin. I was like, he oh, he teleported. <laughs> yeah, he in the wrong room. Come on, bro. We we thought she was. Anyway, so there's a lot going on, man. There's Come a shake. Black Johnny going Bravo. On. Come on, the, man. There, there's a shakeup going on right now in the MCU. Okay. So again, Vinny, I don't know if you got when you probably did. Um that the okay, so. Kevin Feige, we know right now, is fighting for the Internals. So he definitely wants to do an Eternals too. You know what I mean? Because he felt as though they didn't get a fair shot with the first film. You know, so he definitely wants to do it in Eternals too. But the films, based off a of box office draw, based off of the simple fact that they didn't do well on screen, the films that he decided that, you know, aren't going to actually get a, you know, third run or uh, 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 a fourth run, uh, is Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. Now, it's not saying, he didn't say that we won't see these characters again in other IPs. It's just that as a standalone film, their own personal films, they're not doing it anymore. Right. How do you feel about How y'all feel about that, bro? So you said that was Captain Marvel 3? And what else is not? Ant-Man and the Wasp. No more Ant-Man. And, not doing, uh, they're not no doing more, any... Yeah, no more no Eternals. More. Not now, as just their own standalones. They're going to kind of mesh them in. The, yeah. uh, that yeah. Marvels, I don't even want to know the box office with that. I know that the Quantum Mania, I think, like was on par with the other uh, first other two films, but that wasn't saying much. I think they like made over like what, like thirty million. I'm like I don't even know. Like they barely made like a decent grip, but it wasn't. It wasn't like comparatively to the bigger movies uh let's exclude in game and infinity war out of that kind of argument there but um just in terms of the content uh, they kind of the i felt like the most interesting thing for captain marvel would have been to go and see her go and fight that war over there right yeah. and like see her do what they kind of glossed over a bit in this film Although there were parts of the Marvels I did like, you know, yeah, were, yeah. some of the film was good in, in my estimation. Good can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the Quantum Media, that Kang shit left a little sour taste. I think that left a sour taste in all of our mouths. So we wanted that to be the opening to the next big bad. And it just felt like the man got beat by insects. Yeah, they didn't, bro. Uh, okay, so I don't think the um, the IPs are the problem, which is what is concerning me about this news yeah uh we we know clearly that ant-man can be a draw and be a great movie the first movie was incredible uh like mm-hmm. that was uh, one of the sleeper uh hits mm-hmm. of the entire catalog oh yeah oh yeah um the second one had its issues but still was pretty solid the third one there ha- had they had the opportunity to make a statement film if you finish that movie with Kang winning the, the decision to have Kang l- not just lose, but lose the way he did. Yeah. Uh, took, took the wind out of, out of sales of that film. You have Kang kill uh, Hank and escape. And that's a hit last year. That would have so, been a hit. Mm-hmm. That would have been, been a hit. Kill Hank was 90 years old anyway. Yeah. And yeah. escape. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you you can't you can't tell us here's an, an Avengers level threat worthy of his own movie, and he's going to get beat <laughs> by some fucking ants, and expect everyone to just be like, of course, no, that it's okay. You, that that's 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 you, that's the essence of the film. You tell us Thanos is the you tell us Thanos is him by having him mm-hmm. show up and whoop Hulk's ass. You can't tell us Kang is him by having to be Ant Man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he lost to some insects, bro. Yo, we so, n- we n- so the failure of that film because <laughs> yeah. nobody wanted to go see that movie again. Nobody wanted to go tell their friends to go see mm-hmm. that movie. That movie's mm-hmm. failure was not the IP's fault. Yeah. Going into that film, that was one of the most looked forward to films that year. All of us, we couldn't wait to go see Kang like have a you know a fleshed out role, agree, villain man. role in the film. We were all hyped to go see what Jonathan Majors, and this was every single one of us, every time that motherfucker showed up on screen. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm in. Like, all we wanted was more of that. Like, that was... Not, v- Vinny, like, would you say that we they've written themselves into a corner? Absolutely. With the because it's movies. almost, there's, they've, it's almost some like DC shit where they're not sure what they want to do, so they're throwing shit at the wall. Like the mm-hmm. first phase, it felt like they had made a lot of audibles, but they had a, a, a outline that they mm-hmm. stuck to. And in this phase four slash five, it, it's a lot of I'm not sure. Like let's try this, let's try this, and then mm-hmm. and then because they're you know so good at what they do, it's almost like you know they they fail upwards. You know what I mean? Like they they. They fumble, but they still are Marvel, so people are still going to see it because every no one wants to mm-hmm. be like, "Oh, I'm not going to see this one because that last movie sucked." Because you don't want to be the one who doesn't know what's going on. So yeah. they can count on people going to see whatever shit they put out, and I think they're like leaning and relying on that. When mm-hmm. you got uh, the boss to be like, "Nah, Ant Man sucks, so we're not going to do Ant Man movies anymore," uh, and Marvel sucks, so we ain't going to do Marvel's movies anymore. Instead mm-hmm. of looking at w- how you approach making those films, to blame... Now, everybody knows I'm not the biggest Marvel's fan, but I know why that they made a film out of that IP, and I still feel like that made sense. I just wanted it to be better. That's they like saying it doesn't right. make sense mm-hmm. to make... Ha- That's like saying... That's like DC saying it doesn't make sense to do any more Wonder Woman movies just because mm-hmm. 84 was trash. No, 84 was trash. Wonder Woman ain't trash. No. Yeah. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder was trash. Thor ain't Thor trash. trash. It still makes right. sense to make good movies. Yeah. That'd be like quitting after Dark World because Dark World wasn't great. No, the character, the IP is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Just do better. Uh, Ant-Man, yeah. should, it's, it's... Ant-Man should still keep going. That's a strong IP. Marvel's yeah. a skew. Now, Eternals... It wasn't for me out the box, no. and that's fine. But unlike all these other films, uh, another Ant Man movie isn't integral to the storytelling focus of what's going on with Marvel, and not necessarily mm-hmm. Marvel's is either. Whereas mm-hmm. Eternals has a giant fucking celestial hanging out in the fucking ocean with no callback, no word, and you went out of your way to tell everybody like 
we're not really going to tell you how, and we're not really sure, but these people showing up here is going to have some shit to do with some other shit, and then it's going Bro, to- Bro, that was seven shit. years ago. This is a big-ass right. motherfucker in the right. ocean for so, seven years, and people just staring wise, at it. Storytelling-wise, right. it's absolutely crazy to mm. set up a film that ambitious, good, bad, or ugly, to set up a film that ambitious, and because it didn't do well, instead of saying, all right, Let's go back to John Board. Maybe let's make it a little bit more Kirby esque. Let's make mm-hmm. maybe make it a little bit, uh, you know, more. Maybe put some more emphasis on the writing, which was a little all over the place. Their yeah. powers worked against the them one second, and then they got their ass kicked the next, and it it, it didn't make any fucking mm-hmm. sense. Half the movie, there was a lot of writing issues with that film, but there was a lot of storytelling that, I mean, they set up Blade with that film. They set up. Uh, the yeah, Black Knight with that film. They set up yeah. all this shit. They set up, they set up Celestials being in the Marvel universe, in the yeah. in Marvel Cinematic Universe, and then because it didn't do well, they're they're just going to drop it. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like it just is insane to drop. And as much as I didn't like the first movie, I I thought that was not a no brainer that there was going to be a second one where mm-hmm. they would get to like redeem themselves, make a better second film. If you really are about that life, you're Marvel, like, put your fucking, like, strap up your boots and get the fuck to work and make a better second movie and show everybody who you used to be. Like, Mm -hmm. that's my thing. Like, if you're going to wait a while to do another Marvels or Ant-Man, that's fine. Chill on that. We waited, what, almost, like, we're on, like, five, six years of waiting for Shang-Chi. We don't need an Ant-Man movie every year. We don't need a Marvel's movie every year. You can just mm-hmm. wait. You don't. Mm-hmm. But to say we're not going to do them anymore, that's so stupid. Like, why would you point fingers at these IPs it's... as your problem? Because, mm-hmm. to me, what bothers me most about this decision, about the, the decision, about a lot of the press releases that they've made over the past two years has been, like, oh, there's too many movies or this or that. It's a lot of fucking finger pointing. Mm-hmm. And now the finger pointing is we need to write better. We need to market better. We need to worry about what our focus is better. None of the finger pointings is really like at themselves. They're blaming. All. It's like a lot of like arguments and insider shit. It's really messy and I don't mm-hmm. like it. And mm-hmm. it, it goes against what they should be doing. As they're always telling us what they are doing wrong. Mm-hmm. Right. That is really a, a really bad place to be where I, I think the, the only problem news is... that we're ever getting from you is not, mm-hmm. hey, guys, here's this cool thing that's coming next. Now mm-hmm. it's, hey, guys, don't worry. That sucked. We know we're going. We're not going to do that anymore. It's like mm-hmm. all they do now is throw each other under the bus and Everybody very rarely team. tell us, hey, yeah. guys, you should be excited for this thing. Like, stop looking in the rear view. Start looking in front, uh, front of you and tell us what we should be excited about. You yeah. don't have to tell us. Well, why say that you're not going to do another Ant Man or Marvel's movie? That is so backwards to me. Like, just don't do it. Like, if right. they never made another Shang Chi movie again, which you know, whatever, that's a bad example because that movie was good. But like, mm-hmm. you wouldn't know. We don't. Even, you wouldn't know. You would just wait to see if they ever did. But right. they just had movies. Bro, the you don't have to tell us you're not going to do them again. You could just dude, not do them again and focus on crazy, other ones. The crazy part about it is, you say that and mind you it wasn't kevin feige that came out and said this this was bob Iger. so bob Iger was the one who basically made the statement is that behind the scenes they did a lot of silent cutting because mm-hmm. this is what they basically had to do in mm-hmm. order to make space and room for more you know precisely good material they wanted more material out there again that's more cohesive more, you know, uh, uh, you know, the storytelling, they, they, they wanted the writers to focus more on telling the story the right way. In other words, saying give the fans what they want, but at the same time, recognizing that they made a mistake. My problem with that is you should have recognized this when you hired those writers. Right. This is what when they turned in those scripts, you should have read the script and knew mm-hmm. right off the back that it was mediocre because it always starts 
with the writing because this is what i'm tired of i'm tired of everybody blaming the director saying oh mm -hmm. he was the director was shit. no the director worked according to what he got on those From pages the the right. actor the portrayed yeah. the character exactly how she was he or she was written it has mm -hmm. nothing to do with the director it has nothing to do with the actor it's the it's fucking the writing mm -hmm. and this was my problem is the fact that okay now y'all been fighting i said this i was saying this shit a year ago almost a year ago even when the strike was happening even before it, i was like you know what they are turning in these mediocre drafts because they know right off the back they are about to strike they don't give a shit they're like you yeah. know what we ain't making the money that we want fuck y'all take these drafts and just run with it and at that's the time you didn't ask you, anything. like do you think the rider strike was like the big that's that's what happened with everything all that fell down during that rider strike man or right before when they knew that it was going to go down like that man like to me that's what I think, you know. Happened. Bro, the writing, the thing is, and you can fucking, bro, these films, okay. <laughs> bro, when, bro, when the fucking Madam Web is the butt of every joke on every <laughs> show, Madam even, Web. bro, even at the Academy Awards, they everybody's, bro, they clowned the fuck yeah, out of that movie. They clowned it. The they actors it. themselves that were in the movies were clowning that on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. yeah. Twice. So yeah. I'm like, yo, and then, and then you have the actress, Dakota Johnson, saying, oh, I'll never be in these type of movies again because it's just not me. The fact of the matter is you didn't know what the fuck you was getting into. You signed it on because you thought it was an MCU film because you didn't know anything about the IP. You thought it had to do with the um, MCU, and it was some, it was a Sony product. So, bro, this is fucking crazy. Yep. This is fucking nutty, bro. It, 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 was, it was insane how these things were done. And we're sitting back. And you know what? You know what's happening right now? The MCU in bad writing is making everything that Martin fucking Scorsese said come True. to fruition, bro. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's the sad but, part. But where, everything where? he said and everything that everybody else has been saying is coming into fruition because of bad fucking writing. And now you realize that because you where? let fucking Bob Chapek. I call him paycheck because that's all he paycheck. fucking wanted. Bob paycheck. He came <laughs> in, shook up everything, took yeah. took work and took basically the 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 hands like the art out of the creatives. Yeah. And gave it to the execs who didn't know what the fuck they were doing, bro. Do you think they just need well, to all out all together just kind of let go of the cinematic universe tag, honestly? No. And just start just no. making just making films, just making like, no, like I, I just don't, think of the film no, as no, one no. issue as a comic book. What, no, what I don't I don't think the DC one shot route is the way to go no, because it's not, it's so not. so much of what drives their films is that uh fear of missing out. You don't want to miss out. Like you don't right. want to miss one because you know what's the next one's gonna it's lead into. I right. here's the problem. I think they've got away from that. I think they that's what right. they've been doing is making right. self-contained stories that don't matter to mm -hmm. anything else. That's like think about how long it's been since one movie really mattered to another. Right. Virtually every movie since Endgame, you could have watched exactly. with nothing, no right. basis around it, and you'd been fine. Like none of the movies really tied together since you you, you can watch. Wakanda Forever, you could watch Shang-Chi, you could watch Eternals, you could watch Marvels, and none of them really connected. mattered to the other one. The right. only constant that they had going was, was Kang, and right. we know what happened with that. Otherwise, they've all been self-contained and forgettable. That's my question. I'm like, yo, so what happened to all the writers from the first half of the MCU? Are they all gone? Did they quit? Well, if you got to basically you, your bro. If you make a banger, you can renegotiate your deal. That's and if I'm they saying. don't want to pay you, you're moving on. Bro, it's just uh, it's like same the thing with sports. Half, and you make like a whole, championship team, all them players is gone. Right. It's <laughs> like the whole first half of the MCU writers. You could tell, like, it's, but, it must be people new. Like, so here's they, the was, thing, they was hungry back then. They were right. still in their apartments. They right. ain't the had their families yet. They, right. The Russos right. had their own writers. Yeah. They had their own team. Yep. So when uh, they left, their they team. The whole team. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's it. What happened? They oh, had. They, they were working man. with their own. They were working with the, the same writers wow. that they basically had with with Winter wow. Soldier. They had them the same damn writers. See, Marvel they, fucked up. They should have had at least gone. two or three motherfuckers in that room with them. Gone. And see, the that. thing is, the Russos were the motherfuckers who said that. Look, if you do Secret Wars, we'll be back. Right. And look what happened. They wow. got too busy because again, you let fucking Bob paycheck 
come in right. and make the fucking rules and set up a fucking universe that you're not ready for. That's why you motherfuckers can tell. didn't, bro. Motherfuckers were not ready for the multiverse, bro. bro. I was saying that right off the bat when they made the announcement. Yeah. You're not ready for this shit. Yeah, it's too that, much. Bro. It's yeah. too yeah. much going on. Yeah. You're trying now. You're reaching because you're wow. trying to find another big bag. You found wow. one, but you fucked up. You fucked it up. Especially with, with bad writing, fucked we, that we, up, knew, we knew they weren't ready right. for the multiverse when they did Doctor Strange without setting anything up for the future other than Cleo. Exactly. And you waited to after the end of the fucking movie to bring her to in. show her. To yeah. show her. Right. And that's what didn't make any sense right. to me, bro. Right. Right. That's what makes that was the only thing, sense, man. That was the what? only thing that was like connecting you to future shit. Like you mm-hmm. did a whole multiverse flick and didn't set up any of the any of the Kang shit, any of the Spider Man. Like mm-hmm. it just made you, no you sense. You think us included with the newer because you know it's gonna take some time, but with the newer audience that will come up, so the the teenage kids, the the younger kids that will come up. When we get this newer stretch, do you think that they will be ready and willing to accept that in, that that MCU universe along with us, a part of that audience, saying, mm-hmm. "Hey, we done this before. Are we ready to do it again? Are we okay no, with doing I, I it again?" I don't think they don't have the same appreciation that we had for the first half of the MCU because like, I didn't know like, I knew it was a change when the, after after end game with, with the writing you could tell mm-hmm. like, a huge difference but I didn't realize that the Rooster brothers had their own people and they, they all left with them bro, bro they had their own a lot of a, these directors who big, come in wow, they have their own difference. writers but the thing is the Russos were smart about that right. because they knew who who they worked really really well with so they so, brought them okay. in but so, see like, the thing is after which Marvel wow. And which again, what Chapek did, mm-hmm. he would have the writers turn in drafts. It's sort of like you know what when when comics in the very beginning, how you marry a writer with an artist, right. and that's yeah, how yeah. you basically come up with a great concept. A great comic, right? They did it as fucking backwards. They had the writers come up with a concept and then give it to a director without that input, right? What right. I was saying, but wait a minute, like, does this really make sense? Is this going to fucking work? Bro, the directors I are did. visionaries too, and if. If you allow them into the process of creating the vision, that's right. going to allow them to direct the movie more accurately to the vision that was initially put down right. in the writing. Right, right. Yeah. Bro, yeah. like, you could tell after Endgame, like, everything just went to shit. Like, it just, there was nothing movie-wise that, except for Shang-Chi, you know what I'm saying, coming after Endgame. But other than that, that's the only one at the Endgame. It's not even really connected. But it's connected, I guess. Hey, kind of bro, they gave me No Way Home, and that was partly Sony and MCU. I, after that, I was just like, shit, fuck, y'all do whatever. Well, well, you know what? <laughs> I, no, I got mine. Yeah, let, let <laughs> y'all can do whatever that. at this right. point. Let, let, let me correct myself. No Way Home was mm-hmm. the last one that had good writing, good storytelling. Mm-hmm. And it was a connection because he had Doctor Strange and everybody connected. Yeah, and after that, like, what do you got? Kane getting beat by ants. You got shit like Man and Web getting wrote by getting written by AI writers, and what else after that? The moral Bro, did you see that they used the uh, a scene from two, uh, from Spider Man and Madam Web? There was a scene where you know they used to have the wait, wait back then wait, they used to have the like the cameras on those little dollies with those little line dollies, and they they like rolled it up like upside of a building. Like for like a, a scene where oh, Spider Man was kind of bro, they, that, was that was from Toby, and they put it in Madam Web. Like they reused bro. like fucking twenty, almost twenty some odd year old footage. Bro, if I did Damn. not get those tickets for free, lazy, I would not have went. Damn, I would not have went. Bro, and, and Vinny, I, I agree with what you said in the very beginning. The problem isn't the IPs. The problem isn't Ant Man. The problem isn't you know. Uh, uh, Captain Marvel. I'm going to get back to Captain Marvel in a second, though. A yeah. problem isn't basically the... So here's the thing. Even the director, when they asked would she come back, she was like, I don't think I will. Mm-hmm. Why? It's because the execs got in the middle of her fucking mm-hmm. story and her interpretation of what she wanted she to said, write. She said that? She's not coming back? No, bro. She said that before the movie came out. She played... Uh, you know, she she set up a wall of defense before the film ever came out and said that, hey, whatever comes out, just know that wasn't really what 
I wanted to do. I, I was just doing what I was told. It wasn't really the ideal situation for me, and no. we got what we got. So that was before the movie came out for Marvels, bro. I did not know she said yeah. that. But here's but here's wow. the hard the hard part of that is that is how things are done at Marvel, and right. when it re- results in a movie like. Uh, Shang Chi or an Iron Man or uh, if anywhere like then the the you know the machine is a great thing right but when the movie tanks then you get to blame the machine so it's kind of like not fair because nobody gets to just go into Marvel and just you know Ryan Johnson the shit and make whatever you want to do what nobody gets these? to do that. Well, Nobody gets to do that. You go in and you and you fit. You have to fit in with the story, their overall story that they're, they're trying to tell. Even the Russos, like, were working with Marvel and Feige to tell mm-hmm. the story that you know they all wanted to work together to get to the end where they wanted to get to. Nobody mm-hmm. just came in there and just like ran it like it was they were Scorsese or Tarantino or somebody. Yeah. They had to mm-hmm. fit in the program and the system and do what you know what they wanted to do. Just like mm-hmm. at Marvel Comics, you can't just jump on an Avenger comic and just write whatever you want to write. You have to see what's been going on in that world and who they've been fighting and who they're about to fight. And like, if there's a crossover, you got to fit in with that crossover. Like you can't just do whatever fuck you want. Well, That's for one shots. Well, in, in the, it, you got to look at it too. Like it's not even really Marvel. It's the Disney execs that are stepping in fucking up. these. Yeah. Movies. But they were, they were part of the, they were part of the show back in the first phase too. It's just, it, it's, it's just like anything when the going's good, Everything's mm-hmm. cool, but when it's bad, then there's a whole bunch of fucking finger pointing. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it got it got. You start seeing people you ain't never seen, motherfuckers from corporate right. coming up, yeah. and they they right. at your job site. You like I ain't right. never seen. Now you care. Now, right. now you give a fuck because you got That's you got crazy. The, the suits from Disney really I think really got entangled but but see but see, with that's the thing even more when the than... suits were the suits were involved in the first phase too and it was fine because it was Marvel Studios it was in house it was it was a better situation than Warner Brothers that had the people making the films have no kind of like home or continuity because it was just for films that Warner Brothers didn't really care about. There was no DC Studios. The good thing about Marvel Studios was it was in house and DC. I mean, and, and Disney Chris. like cared about like giving these films their own just do and resources. But then once they're bad, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you blame the suits. But what? it's like uh, I, it's just a lot of it's a lot of blame to go around. I just it's, I just it's, don't I, blame. I, I don't too. solely well, blame I, the suits. I don't solely blame the suits. I think there's a lot. A lot of, of blame to go around with what's going on with Marvel, and I think it's very, very irresponsible to mm-hmm. tell you that there won't be any more Ant Man or Captain because you easily could say nothing, and then mm-hmm. if things pick up and you get back on a roll again, and then you know you have hit after hit after hit for three or four years, and things mm-hmm. are going perfect, and mm-hmm. somebody comes to you with an adaptation for a new cat Marvel movie. And you're like, wait, that actually could be fire. And then you do it and it works mm-hmm. because you have the momentum again. Mm-hmm. Now you have to say, okay, remember when we said we wasn't going to do another cat Marvel movie? Well, actually like why, why put yourself in a position where you have to constantly roll back your words? Like why say, and there's so many Marvel movies that are like what? on a back burner because there's so many different movies that you wouldn't have to explain why there wasn't an Ant-Man movie for four or five years because no one really expects there to be uh, any of these franchises to have a film every year. Mm-hmm. So if you didn't have a, a Marvel's movie for another five years, mm-hmm. it would have been fine. You didn't have to say you weren't going to do one. Well, my thing, what, like like Lyle was saying earlier, <laughs> that I had no clue that the Russo took their writers with them. So it's like, well, you know, they like weren't. You think- I mean, that were the writers on Winter Soldier and Infinity mm-hmm. War and Endgame, but there was other films around that time, like the Cat, you know, other Captain Mar- America movies, other Iron Man and Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, there's other films that were successful mm-hmm. that had good writing, and it bro, I'm here's not sure thing. what's going on with these but faces. Like- See, here, here's the thing, really quick though. The, the biggest thing is that, and, and, and what I do want to throw in here is that we had 12 good years of films that were written correctly, directed correctly, and the focus was on those films because they had they had a trajectory at that point. Right. They knew where they were going. They knew how cohesively these films had to connect. 
Mm -hmm. The problem entered, and I'm and I stand on this. What happened was in 2019, 2020, 2020 mm -hmm. mainly, mm -hmm. Disney Plus is actually introduced. And then you have so many of these different IPs, streaming IPs, that the expectation is, okay, in order for you to understand this movie, you have to watch this show. So it's basically you're splitting the writing between Disney Plus, live, oh, you know, yeah. cinematic experience. So where's well, the focus? So then basically you're forcing people to watch terrible shit because mm -hmm. those shows a lot of those fucking shows, I can say that there were maybe mainly two shows that on there that I can honestly say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I loved. Mm -hmm. Two. That I can honestly, no, no, three. I'll say three mm -hmm. that I can honestly say I love because I want to say, and I wanted so badly to say that I love Moonlight. But at the very end, they fucked me over, bro. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm staying it. on that hill. I, love it though, I, I did love not it. like the way it ended because the thing is, oh you basically wait to show us a character that we were waiting on for the longest time, and he's on the fucking closing credits. Well, well you, he hey, could have been shown. Hey, I will like, scream for the mountaintops right. for WandaVision. That's uh, that's the no, only one. Wanda, WandaVision that's was the only one. Yeah, that's yeah. the only one I will yeah. fight for. Loki was dope, dope. and I Lo definitely Loki. love, and I don't give a fuck what nobody says. I love Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I yeah. love yeah. it. I think, I think that's I like so it. overlooked and, and, for so I many different it. reasons. But I love the you, story. I love in World War. See, here's Werewolf the thing though. Werewolf by, by night, night was a standalone. It wasn't an it, actual series and it was just a special. Was now was it dope. falls under spotlight. So that's right. where they basically placed it. But right. the thing is, you can't, you're splitting the focus and none of them are closely related. We no. spent the last ladder mm -hmm. of this particularly this year and in the, in the, in the past couple of years mm -hmm. watching standalone films that weren't mm -hmm. connected so mm -hmm. how the fuck did you expect us to follow shit that but then you want to place the blame on these ips and say yeah. you know what no we're not going to make these films anymore because they tanked at the bike box office yeah. why did they tank ask yourself why did they fucking tank and i'm pretty sure if it's better writing and if you can produce something that's really, really good, people would actually want to go see these fucking films. Yeah. Captain Marvel didn't make a billion dollars off her first go for nothing, even though I didn't like what the fuck she did. They did uh, mm -hmm. with the scrolls. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's it's all I don't give a fuck. And if there's some writers out there who are butt hurt listening to this, then you should be. This Stop turning in dumbass drafts, right? Bullshit right. ass drafts, right? Source these materials characters couple. deserve too much. These they characters deserve, deserve way more. too fucking much, bro. Like, bro, too the, fucking same much. Way, the same way you treated Iron Man and Captain America and the Hulk. Well, not the Hulk, but Thor in them first couple movies. These these new characters like Ant Man and Shang Chi, they deserve the same writer's respect, and and they're not getting it. even Captain, even Captain Marvel. You know what I'm saying, like bro. The and comics, the thing is, like, of course, you got to blame a lot of people too because you can't. Bl so with Captain Marvel, and I wanted to go back to that too because mm -hmm. I'm not gonna place the blame on just the writing. I'm not gonna place the blame on just the directors. I'm not yeah. gonna place the blame on just the the suits. Right. I'm going to place the blame on a lot of motherfuckers out there who had mm -hmm. a problem with Brie Larson. And because you had a problem with Brie Larson, everybody else in the film had to suffer. <laughs> so I blame y'all motherfuckers out there mm -hmm. who didn't mm -hmm. like this character, didn't like the actress, so everybody else had to suffer because of how you felt about something she said years ago and you still haven't gotten over it. Now, I don't want to name the demographic because you already know what the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to get over that shit. And that was one of the biggest fucking problems because of that. Both actresses, both one who played Photon, one who played Miss Marvel had to fucking suffer because of y'all butt her butt her ass motherfuckers who can't get over shit. So I blame that on y'all too. Y'all too got to accept it and just mm -hmm. fall in line with it. Take some of the responsibility mm -hmm. because y'all know it's on some real shit. Because that shit is still going around. Motherfuckers will review bombing this shit before it even fucking drop. Because they don't like Brie Larson. Because if I was her, I wouldn't even come back. She was, she was kind of tame yes, on this one. In the in the yes, run up to this one, she was yes, tame. They was just going when, off of shit it, from it, it several came, years ago. Right. When it came when it came to this Marvels film, she kind of like shut the hell up. Because from the first from her first movie, she got a lot of shit from just all the shit talking she was doing. Yeah. But like like the Marvels movie, I was surprised how calm she was and how because she wanted to get the fans to come see it. Because you can't, you can't, and, and Captain Marvel, she shit on the demographic that's going to go see the movie. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, she yeah. really did, to be honest. Like, she shot, she Larson, shot it in the foot with that. Listen, like, regardless if innocent. she was right or right. wrong about right. it. Like right. that, bro, uh, that act alone. People, it was a tough move to come back. Though. Listen, bro, it is. But, but bro, how many people have said I, even worse shit? Listen, like, really have said I, I, worse I, I, shit, I, I, I and we give them a fucking pass, bro. but you don't give her a pass off the of shit that she said. And and mind listen, you, what the fuck she said might have ruffled some feathers, but the shit was fucking right. A lot of the shit that she said was right. Motherfuckers just didn't know how to accept it. But this mm -hmm. was something that was done years ago. I, Get the fuck I'm, over it and move that's what on. I'm that's what I'm like, move why on from it. It is because so, of that shit. So and it's a culture they, war, Leo. Bro, it's a, it they're not going to let it go. Right. Bro, no, they don't. No, they don't want to no. fucking let it go because you are the fuck, you're defending bad fucking habits. Right. You're defending a generational fucking bro, curse, right. and you don't want to get that over goes, that shit. That goes, I'm sorry, yeah, I'll stay in the and I won't walk ways. the fuck away because this is what that shit's been doing to the IP the entire time. These motherfuckers, bro, mm -hmm. who create and stand by these fucking nar narratives mm -hmm. because you don't want to stand, you you can't give shit a chance because you don't want to let fucking go, mm -hmm. and because you yourself are creating a, your own self sustainable narrative that you don't want to fucking see and admit. Plain and fucking the, the, the yeah, but you have to realize both ways. You, you have to realize though. You, you have to realize though. Like that's that's part of the viewer's prerogative because right. if 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 there was black people bitching, there wasn't enough black people in her movie, and she goes, right. "This movie ain't for black black people." Exactly. Black people would be like, "All We're right, cool. I'll see you then." <laughs> Go ahead, you got I, that. I, I'll never see you then. That's and I'll yeah, never I, see your movie. <laughs> so when you come out there and say this movie ain't for old white people, oh and then you guys. can't be mad. Old white people yeah. were like, "All right, yeah. I'll stay home. Don't worry, you or, or, have or fun." You mad white guys, but, but that's like saying, "Okay, Barbie ain't for ain't, it's not for the little girls to go see." Like, come on, bro. Like, it's a Marvel movie, so those guys are going to go see it. You can't shit on your audience. And expect not not bro, to get bro, pissed bro, off at you. She wasn't. That goes both no, no, ways. no, no, no. But see, the thing is know what she was talking about bro she wasn't talking about the audience or the viewers or people no what she was talking about is the motherfuckers who sit at the table making decisions telling other people that they don't have a place she walked that she didn't walk back on that shit that's what she was talking about and it was another it was a few more motherfuckers who had to justify that shit for her bro that's right. the shit that she was talking about but the narrative got switched as her yeah. saying, she hey, don't, don't, like, like, fuck is I don't even think it got switched. It got conflated oh. with so much other oh, bullshit. So much, look, it's it so much, shit, and that's why it's really, really. That's that why. That's why there's so little and not enough focus when, and not that it's not fair, but it's absolutely necessary mm -hmm. when these celebrities are are putting these press runs and they don't have the proper press training to realize right. that's a gotcha. And if right. I say this, that's they're going to run with it this way. Right. And they know that they're going to chew it up and eat it out. Like, you know how careful and strategic like Chadwick had to be to not say nothing about exactly. certain things when right. he was doing a promo for Black Panther to right. not let any reporter bait him up into saying that it's a a, a blacks only movie or, right. or that white people ain't the same for you you know any of that shit like right. he had to be like perfect right. out there and she didn't have to be head, man. Right. she didn't have to be and her right, not feeling like she had to be careful bro. i think kind of bit bro. her in the ass bro, is it fair that's no the thing. they're going to but it's but it's not but if, if the world ain't fair you to basically exist around that space then mm. every fucking film out there that a lot of shit that motherfuckers have said this is how it's going to suffer because people hang on to that shit. Look, I'm not forgetting what she said, and it's a time and a place. Yes, PR should have been there to stop certain things. But what I'm saying is, how fucking long ago was that shit, bro? And motherfuckers are still holding on it. Now, when you're holding on to it now, to me, it becomes a fucking excuse. Yeah, Plain I mean and simple. It look, becomes a, a lot of people... excuse that you can't fucking let go. And mm -hmm. this is why a lot of shit suffers, bro. Because people <laughs> but... are hanging on that and they don't want to accept the truth. This is where it is, bro. But that's the thing, though. If you have a movie like shit, shit out there, and we I were just talking about it, this with the with the Amanda Connor stuff. You you have mm -hmm. you, you have a, a female centric girl power film, and that's fine. And to mm -hmm. think that you don't have to at least kind of somewhat respect that you do kind of want men to want to go to this too. Not that they aren't, but I'm just saying it's not right. that it don't matter because it's just like WNBA. Women aren't supporting it. They're bad at men for not supporting it. Exactly. So there's 175 million women in this world. Not a single That's one of us could have went to Marvels and they should have been in, right. in 
way in the black. They should have been mm-hmm. made a billion dollars just off of women to go see this. Mm-hmm. But women aren't the primary film goers for comic book movies. So right. they're making a lot of movies, female driven movies, and they do kind of have to make sure that guys still want to go see them. It is mm-hmm. important. And then mm-hmm. you have Wonder Woman 84, you have Marvels, you have mm-hmm. Madam Web, and you have a lot of women driven movies that yeah, are kind of like just like not hey everybody go see this dope movie it's mm-hmm. come on girls and and that's like you have to be careful there because there's movies like kill bill that isn't like come on girls it's like yo let's go watch me kick some mat let's let's watch this violent horrible movie right and it doesn't really have anything to do with girl power it's just about violence and right whatever they're trying to promote and that well, that kind of works then, but the other movies, That's the other movies see, but, there's, but there's, you know what? it's made we where it's kind of like space. maybe guys we, feel like, ah, this ain't for me. We live exactly. in a space right now, though, pretty much that any woman centric film that drops, and especially if a woman is a central character, yeah. it's set up to fail. Literally, it is. <laughs> It's yeah. set up to Wonder fail. Wonder Woman because... did better than than, Mar- than the first Marvel film. Wonder Bro, Woman was awesome. The first Wonder Woman was, was the second insane. film wasn't received well. We know the why. The second film was whack. It wasn't the definitely received was well. But my, the problem is any woman centered film, it, if it's centered around her and she's the central character, they it's they set sabotage up to it. Fail they sabotage it. And don't focus. give a good writing. Well, you know, but, you know but, crazy no, 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 no. But I'm saying even beyond writing, bro. They even beyond it. writing, because because you, you take, you take men- or even even a lot of content creators who mm. are out there spewing this bullshit. They make they their job it. easy for them, bro. They, they make it, it easy for them. They made it real easy to shit on Wonder Woman eighty four. That's exactly. not fair. But but my problem. But here's the thing, bro. Who made it? Who made it easier for them? Are you telling me if Wonder Woman eighty four was fire it was absolutely incredible? It would got shit on the same way. <laughs> I don't think so. No, Bro, but the problem is, even before we're talking about, before the film even drops, before uh, a film you, even drops, if you drops, think I'm arguing that there's not, uh, if you think I'm arguing that there's not men out there who just want to see women fail, that's, that's like saying the that case. there's not people out there who want to see Black Panther fail, no matter how right. dope it was. We absolutely right. know. But then, what right. did they do? They made sure Black Panther was the most fucking uh, troll proof movie you ever could fucking make because exactly. it was so dope that you couldn't say shit about it. Nothing. Racist. The, the Ku Klux Klan were watching Black Panther like, and we're mad it was so. We was like, fuck. damn, this and shit. Hold on, I can Yo, okay. the, the clan was was like Jerry right. Maguire. I love black people. Yo, <laughs> that shit was. It was bulletproof. So they're okay. not making these. Fe- so, they're not making but, but these. Wait a minute. Fe- so let me ask you a question. They're not so making these. Let me ask you a question. Fe- bulletproof. Let me exactly, ask you a question bro. though. Okay, oh, so we can say that about that, right? But let's go to Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about. WandaVision, absolutely no, fire. Not, not even WandaVision. Let's talk about Miss Marvel. People liked it, right? Miss Marvel was uh, great. It was a good thing. I loved it. Show. People liked it. I loved it. I liked it. But, I like it. I mean, didn't I, don't the the, it got. I don't know how the overall... I don't know. Didn't I don't give feel it to you. know if it was really was hated on. I, I don't know what the numbers did for it. I didn't really pay... The, the numbers didn't do well, numbers. even though it was a great... It was a decent show. I loved the show. It didn't do... Well, it didn't get the viewer the viewership that it should have actually gotten. Right. That's the problem, bro. It didn't. And a lot of it, it is centered around. Look, I'm not saying, and again, we've already preached the writing. We know that the writing has been horrible on certain films. But a right. lot of motherfuckers out there that got accept and again own up to the simple fact that they're creating these fucking narratives that are sabotaging shit, bro. They are. Yeah. They're doing that before a lot of this shit can even get released. Like that's just the way it is. It's 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 horrible, bro. It's horrible to see something like that. And this is hence why it's not again, it's not just the writing, it's not yeah. just the directing. Yes, you said it's not just the suits. There's a lot of things that throw in the bowl, and the reason why these movies that we're seeing right here may not see the light of day again. Now, right now, yeah. Kevin Feige is fighting with Bob Iger to get the Eternals made. He wants to get that to get the Eternals made because he said there's certain things and certain stories that he wants to tell mm-hmm. within that space and within that within that IP. Mm-hmm. Bob Iger ain't looking at that. What he's looking no. at right now is the numbers. He's the looking money at money. Trash. The money was trash. Which that's yeah. basically what he's going. So he's yeah. the one who's yeah. making the call because you notice when that statement came out, mm-hmm. fucking Kevin Feige didn't say shit. Mm-hmm. He hasn't said nothing. He ain't you know what's shitty, bro. Winning souls everything. If yep. you're putting mm-hmm. out banger after banger after banger, you can they come to the nothing. suits and say, they hey, say I got a comic that we should make. 
mm-hmm. it's a, it's we got a talking raccoon and a talking tree, right. and they're gonna go fight crime in space. And mm-hmm. they're like, "All right, fuck it, let's go with it. We can't lose." Now we're still winning, right? Now you're in a position where, yeah, I get it. Where like you feel like you gotta you gotta play some prevent defense and get some. You know, you gotta run the ball for a minute before you start throwing more bombs. With and mm-hmm. Eternals is a hail mary, mm-hmm. and, and, and that is- works when you're winning. But when you're 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 having the year that comic book movies in general have had the past mm-hmm. couple years to say, mm-hmm. oh, let's let's prioritize Eternals too. I get that hesitation, but to say we're not going to do it is is foolish. Just say yeah. don't don't say shit yeah. at all. Give yourself the option to do it later if you start winning again. Yeah, because yeah. if someone comes to you with something that looks good on paper and that makes sense, then you're mm-hmm. supposed to be open minded to it. To just cross your arms and be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, yeah. over mm-hmm. anything is so foolish because it's like you're putting the blame on everybody but your, yourself. Like there's so many different mm-hmm. things that had to go wrong mm-hmm. for these films not to have done better. Yeah, it, like I said, it wasn't just it wasn't just one part. It wasn't just like he was saying the writing. It it was it had to do with 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 people's feelings about the movie or you know the, the suits. It was a it was a, a a narrative of things or a bunch of things that made these movies. It's not great. one thing. It's a soup. It's a right. soup, man. It's that's a that's the things, hard thing for people know? to understand is the nuance here. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. that it's not. The actress is not what. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's not, not the qu- the- it's not the quantity. It's not like mm-hmm. oh they made uh four right. four movies. I would I would have loved it Black Widow if there was only three movies that year. But right. if, because there was a fourth, then I had a problem with. No, nah, right. if, if the if there was if the movies are great, you could put out mm-hmm. six fucking comic book movies a year mm-hmm. and people will mm-hmm. love them. The problem mm-hmm. is they're not great. They're not well written. There's so many problems that they have with it, and it's a snowball effect where mm-hmm. once it starts being shitty, then everything's shitty. I mean, that happened. We yeah. just did it with DC. It was a fucking snowball effect of of like bad decision after bad decision, and it's just like it forms mm-hmm. a culture of this shit sucks versus a culture of when's the next one? Can't wait to see it. Can't miss it. Can't miss mm-hmm. the next Marvel movie. I have to mm-hmm. see everything that they do. That's a mm-hmm. culture that they they develop. Yeah, and I think that they have to shift back to that by like you said, Vinny winning. Yeah, right. right. You not gonna hear all these motherfuckers hating. I don't even think people like Leo said earlier. There's movies that were bangers that motherfucker. Somebody says some shit before the movie or did some shit. Before the movie, and nobody gave a fuck because the movie cared. was a banger. Right. People you were excited winning. about going. Right. They were exactly. winning. Exactly. Winning. Exactly. You think oh, you think Rodman could have get away got away with that shit? The Bulls weren't the Bulls. Hell no. Rodman would have been out of here. Not just Rodman, Jordan. Mm-hmm. They all Jordan, right. But Jordan. You was think a Jordan could out of nowhere, bro? Right. You yeah. think? Yeah. Exactly. You think? You know, Ron Harper could have punched Steve Kerr? Right. No. You had right. to be Jordan. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And yeah. it's like, like, like you were saying, like this soup has a lot of seasoning in it with, with, with different pieces of it, you know, and the Madden Web thing, like I said, I got tickets for free. I wanted it to be good. I didn't care that it was all female cast. But when you got into the movie, oh, my dear Jesus, <laughs> like it was trash. Don't do that. Don't do that, Charlie. We oh. we is not the cowgirls over here. Wow. <laughs> don't don't do that. Like don't do that. It might be DC. <laughs> that, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, chill out, bro. People, Jerry World I mean, over they, here they, they, have to I mean, be willing to accept a, the losses, bro. And Marvel I mean, they can be making a Marvel. Uh, they can lose from just fans. like so. everybody else, bro. Oh. That's the thing. They have to be able to accept the losses, move on, lick your wounds, and right. just make good shit. Like that's just that's just that's what it is, bro. And again. We're still holding Look, on to the original still, MCU, Leo. This is what this it. is, right. but that's right. the problem, bro. Right. I right. treat it like people have. Uh, it's just like Star Wars, bro. Uh huh. Still basically holding on to the original trilogy. trilogy. The original trilogy. They don't want to see shit else after that, bro. They don't want all them characters. That or them actors else are seventy. That's just how you know how much I hate. No, you know how much I hate when shit's been watched since Endgame. Like fuck you, like there's been dope shit since Endgame. You just don't care, right? Right. Right. There's been a lot of dope shit, but motherfuckers right. just do not want, they do not want to accept it. You don't want to give anything else a chance because you're hanging on to that. You, mm-hmm. you don't want to give anything else a chance because you don't see your Robert Downey Jr.'s, you don't see your Chris Evans, you don't see your Scarlett Johansson's in it. Mm-hmm. So you gave up mm-hmm. on it and said, you know what, you can't make anything else after that. And to basically say you got to bring them back just to make a good movie, that's Hate reaching. that shit. 
That's that's and, and, and that's, and that's zero and, talent. And, and, that's what that shit is. That's reaching. They, they Holy, trying, they are trying to do that with all these guys. Like, yep. Robert's got another Oscar, bro. That he ain't gonna be cheap. So you might as well forget that. Yeah, Chris mm-hmm. Evans, right. busy as hell. He's you better sell that. like about uh, one point five Hot right. Toys Iron right. Man's to get right. the check right. to right. send to right. him right. to right. encourage and, him. And, and, to and, sign and, into another movie. I right. just, I, I just and, don't and think that they lean on that. They, they the, the no, thing no. is, don't, don't and you, you. That's that's, just, a that's a sign of zero confidence in your IP. Absolutely, that's a sign of zero. Confidence. I'll take, I'll take him as the, you know, when, you know, when he was talking to Riri and he had that protocol in after he got killed in the comics, and Bro, then he was, was basically that, that like, was, uh, you know, a projection. Yeah. I'll take Bro. that. I'll take yeah. that. That's okay? like yeah. that's like yeah. three bad days and taking the X back. Yo, yeah. just fucking get back out there, man. <laughs> exactly, exactly, bro. bro. This, and this, it's, it's, it's like you know, they, I, I don't understand. Like, give Falcon a chance to be out there as Captain America by himself first, right? Give bro. him a chance. He even get a chance, Ooh. bro. He only had a TV show. Like, give him a movie first, bro. If you want to call Chris after that. I ain't got no problem with it, bro. But they were, but but that's the thing. They were they all trying to call him. that shit too. Bro, they heard to that. Call him well, that's now. not my Captain America. That's right. not Chris Evans. Right. Oh, my oh, Captain America's not black. Oh yeah, no, nah, I don't want that. Well, let's 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 take that's it out here, bro. Now, the way that they that's know him. him. That's, no, that's, here's the funniest shit. Yeah. They, yo, they masked the that they don't want Cap to be black with. You don't have to be How could be? Yep. How can he be Cap? That's, that's all they say, and he doesn't have super sur- so, soldier serum. Yep. How can he be cap? That's all. And they there's care been about. one. There's they don't one say who's been preaching that narrative, bro. I'm telling you, it's been crazy. It's yep. it's fucking crazy. They didn't, didn't want to give him a chance in the first place, and then a lot of content creators are going with this. Oh, it's in trouble because of rewrites. They didn't want to release it. Yeah, it's a bad film. It's set up to be. Yo, what? That's not true. Shut the that's fuck up, bro. That's not true. That's ain't what I'm got, Ain't got an industry insider to save <laughs> they fucking life. <laughs> no. Over here. Hey, no. Uh, this we're just making this shit up, the, bro. The movie must be trash. Some other dude in his basement, the, base, the, the basement network, they sent me uh, information so I could tell you from my basement about yeah, who bro. I think I know. Come on, man. In, in the basement of their mama's house. Like, yeah. come on, bro. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, You're creating these fucking out. false narratives because you just cut don't like yourself, bro, and you yeah, need clout. It's, but it's also that culture of hatred, right? Yeah, and also, yeah. we know that culture of hatred is also mm. somewhat um, monetary beneficial, monetarily beneficial to some well, they degree. Get, they get clicks from it. They get clicks right. From it. They get yeah. clickbait, and all these things yeah, are very it. hot in terms of crazy, bro. Right, in terms of and, and, our dialogue, right? Our whole discourse when it comes to these things. Crazy. Uh, shit's, shit's wild, man. I, I'm crazy. just sitting here enjoying my shit, enjoying my, my Spider-Man shit. Leave me the fuck alone. That's Bro, what and, I'm and the thing right is, now. we want that experience, right? We want to be we we want to be able to go to the theaters, bro. Vinny, have another moment that we basically had with Endgame. Had another a, a fucking another moment that we actually had with No Way Home. You know, have those particular moments when you mm-hmm. can feel the crowd, the energy in that crowd, mm-hmm. bro. We haven't had that for the longest fucking time, man. In about eight years. It's been a minute. I mean, it's been a minute. You know what I mean? Um, the last one for me was No Way Home. I was about four years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't been, went to the theater except for movies outside of Marvel, Guys on the Minus One, you know, other than that. I have not yeah. been fooled by a Marvel film since No Way Home in the theater. Like, bro, that's, like that's we, garbage. That's we garbage, put together bro. like it's funny because Thank we God for that Spider Verse. That's that no that, that me. No doubt. Yeah. And see, I didn't, I didn't count that because it's animation. I'm just and it's Sony action. and it's a bunch you of other bullshit right. around. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. But like No Way Home was the last one that woke me. Bro, when I seen Andrew Garfield come through the, the little portal, I was like, no. You know, yeah, bro, I was looking at that trailer. I was like, "No way, he gonna fight all three of them motherfuckers. Yeah. They go, it's gonna be one up there, one there." I just, yeah. I was just like, yeah. "No way, they gonna do this shit." And I was, they, yeah. I was the whole skeptical throughout was, that whole process. Yeah. Like, I was like, yeah. people was keep telling me, "Like, they gonna have all three of them." Like, fuck why, no, it's gonna why, be a trash ass movie. Bro, like, I couldn't why, believe why it. Was I, why was I a six foot two, two hundred and forty pound <laughs> baby? When Andrew Garfield <laughs> caught when, when he caught when he caught my girl, and, yeah, it was, yeah, it was it was a rooftop talk. It was like for me, it was Uncle Ben, and I'm just sitting oh, there like, "Fuck bro. y'all, don't yeah. look." At me. 
Yeah, I'm crying. Yeah. You're crying. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was I was in tears, bro. On that one scene when he called MJ, I said he'd have been redeemed. Mm-hmm. He'd have yeah. been redeemed. They have to do that because it was he that was his like Spider-Man 2.5 for him. That was now, amazing Spider-Man. But you know what? But right. but here's the thing: he's been redeemed just for Sony to fuck it up again. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about no, that. No, listen. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Talk they, about that. They're just because, all because the, guards, the doors yeah. have been, the doors and windows have been open with all Ooh. of that, that talk. I'm right. We talk, that. we're hearing Ooh. all the Toby Maguire talk. talk. Ooh. We hear another all show. of this Andrew Ooh. Garfield talk. Another show, another show. Just because of this fucking movie. Just because oh. of the way home. Oh, that door has been open and they fucked bro, it all up. That the door, that bro. right there is like Superman to me when they did Garfield dirty bro. like that again, bro. bro. Like I don't talk about that. Don't bro, that. but and, and everybody was saying he was like the, the best part of the film. He was, was, was the him. best part of he the was film, incredible. Dog. But you Maybe know I what? In space. I want to fight in space. Yeah, bro. Oh. He was the best part. His energy was bro. incredible, bro. His he energy you was definitely in incredible. You're in, you're in the band. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Oh, so great. So who's the Avengers? Bro, bro <laughs> listen. Who was it? Who was it at that movie theater? Damn near crying with happiness when you seen all three of them fucking running, webbing together in midair, drop on the top of that statue. Of living bro, that shit in was phenomenal, bro. Tears. That shit tears. was phenomenal. I mean, see, that's the thing is when you write a good ass script, when you bring these characters together and you do it the right way, you make cinematic history and you know what you're doing. But you can't just skip and just around the margins, just give us one. Okay, we'll wait four or five more films until we get another one. Bro, you can't I, keep I doing that been, shit, bro. I, I, done, I done been to wars. I done been blown up. I done been shot. I done been all kind of tough guy stuff that you can think of. Let me tell you, those two scenes, yo, in tears. My daughter, Daddy, you okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. baby. He emotionally you don't, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> when it hit, when it hits, oh, it fucking hits. Good that's that's why we hang on to it. She went yeah. When That's it why hits, we hang on to this even, shit because yeah. when even Black when Panther dope, two was I I and it was a different feeling there. Whoa! For me, Black Panther two was like a funeral. It was Listen, going to man. send a, a, a friend home. A you know what I mean? That's funeral. all it felt was like a mm-hmm. long funeral that mm-hmm. had some mm-hmm. like you had a little bit of, of violence and some action bro. at it. it kind of like yeah. a funeral in Compton. Yo, but like bro. honestly, it's just. Bro, when that the was queen, what when it the was. Queen died, when the queen died, I said, "Oh my, this is too much." Yeah, I was like, "Okay," wasn't expecting that, you know what I mean? And it was just like that one was like, "Oh, uh, bro, and we got to we had to do another funeral." Bro, Nasty wasn't bro. expecting that. She she was the one who said that she didn't like that Ryan Coogler Britt wrote her off, but he was like, "Somebody had to go." Bro. I was like, "Why?" Did, yeah, that's somebody the, already went. They, bro, you taking this girl's entire family away from her? Yeah, right. How is that? I mean, I get this. I get the symbol. I know what he that. was going for, but he better correct it. He was <laughs> trying to put Shuri on demon time. Yeah, it's, it's often <laughs> the, we we rarely see the Shuri that we got in the first film. From what exactly. I know of the comics, exactly. it's just she's exactly. always been flipped in the comics. It's right. like she's fucking trying to get power from T'Challa. Right. She right. doesn't agree with his uh, she fights leading. Him a lot. She, fights she fights him a lot. Him a lot. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm there with you, right? So, yeah. Let me let me ruffle some some feathers again. Oh no, don't just don't come on, dog. You already ruffled. Let me ruffle, don't don't now, let me ruffle some feathers again. Or Garfield. Do you think? Man. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Watch this. Watch don't say it about DC or Garfield. Watch Spider-Man. this. No, hold up. Watch this. Or Superman. Watch this. Vinny already knows what I'm about to say. Do you oh. think? Oh, no. That all of this can be corrected and redeemed with Deadpool. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Fix it all, fix it all, fix it, Jesus. Hey, Vinny. And, fix it, Jesus. And go. Fix it, fix it. Don't say, Man, don't take my no. hope away from me, Vinny. Don't take my hope. Don't take my hope. Uh, look, don't do it. I, I never gave you the hope, so I can't take it away. Bro, oh. I know, I know when you oh. like all they put all the eggs. They put all their eggs in this oh. silly ass basket with Ryan Reynolds, oh, man. man. Look, man. There's don't people who that. out there who think don't that the X Men oh. and Fantastic Four and I oh, can't wait for Deadpool. Really? Uh. That's what's that's our savior, Deadpool. Not not for me. I, I I'm 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 looking forward to just. A fun movie. I am not 
expecting the fucking you know coup de gras, the 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 return of the Mac or no <laughs> Messiah they complex. The, they gave him the keys though, bro. I, I don't keys. give a look. There's <laughs> been there, there ain't been not one announcement Ooh. from this film that has me like oh. Oh, we back. We up. Nah, nah. It's it's it. Look, I'm sure it's going to be fun. We still down but... thirty in the fucking second half. Bro. Exactly. We need, we need exactly. Know how to kick you right in the I, chest. Look, I'm just being real with you. I would. I'll be the first to tell you. <laughs> I'll, feel, I'll, I'll be the like first. Look, I'll crack. be the first to tell you. I would love to say that this, oh, you know, man. writes all wrongs and and sets up. But nah, man. It's it's a fucking Deadpool film with a bunch of stupid dick jokes, and that's all the fuck I expect. So, oh, but okay. That, so, with that on, basically man. being said, though, ain't no hope. Because, but no, no. Listen, <laughs> listen. Because I'm I, here's the thing, and the reason why I'm saying this is because Damn, Vinny. I can't <laughs> listen. I want the film I don't fuck to be with good, that, bro. and I know it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. But I can't put all eggs in one basket and say that this is going to be the film that's going to correct everything. I don't because how many times have we been set up that way, bro? Exactly. They did it with Doctor Strange. They did it with... Uh, they this, they that, set us they up so that way times. before. And I don't yeah. want... Here's the thing, bro, and I said this before. I don't want a spectacle, bro. I don't want just every face that you can throw in a film to be in a film just because. Yeah. If the narrative no, is right either. and the story is right, then I'm on board with it. I feel like but it's going to be opposite. Don't just do that to me, man. Because the thing is, yes, I want it to be a solid film. Yes, it's an opportunity for you to have both him and Wolverine in the same film again. It's not the first time. But it's an opportunity for you to have them in a, the same film again. Yes, we're going to see that, and everybody will be satisfied. But I'm hoping, for their sake, they're not setting this film up for failure by saying that, yes. And even when you put that on the film, Marvel's Jesus, bro, did that have to be there? Did that have to be a placement? Again, it's, it's you're just setting it, you're putting a big target on your back when you put that in it. So I'm just hoping for its sake it's mm-hmm. good and holds up. But I'm not willing to say that it's going to be a savior film. I'm sorry, I can't say that. I can't. Y'all know how I have to, to wait and see. Y'all know yeah. how to kick y'all friends. I gotta wait and see. Look, man, look, they they put man, it's the only Marvel film this year, and, and there are so many reasons for that beyond that part. So yep. many, so many films like Ugh. got pushed back because of the writer strike and this, that, and the third. It yeah. wasn't supposed to be the only film. Ugh. Blazing coming out this Asian, year, you're killing me, dog. You're killing me, Blazing Asian. You're killing this me. Right That's here. what you need. That's what this you need. Right here, this right here, oh, and it'd be a financial success. It'd probably okay. make a billion dollars. Can but we the get writing this? is important. I don't think it's making. Can, can we? Can we get? Can we get the child back? Can we get the child? And, and Taylor and that motherfucker ain't gonna make a billion. I ain't gonna make a billy. It's gonna, gonna be doing Billy Jean up in that motherfucker, especially yeah, if they got money. her ass up in there. It's gonna I make promise money. you. <laughs> As soon as Damn. the word gets out, oh Taylor Swift in it, ooh, people gonna be rushing to hate on it, Who's and then gonna the, 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 uh, they gonna the be dazzler? rushing to go watch it. <laughs> this is funny. I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's... Need to prune She Hawk, Secret Invasions, and then the ending of Quantum Mania, yeah. and all the other half ass projects that came out. I agree. I, I, I'll say that. I I, that. We, we we on the same page there. Yeah, we we uh, definitely on the same page there. But I mean, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, like, we talked about how important those cameos in No Way Home were to us and they made mm-hmm. sense it had fantastic writing what if it, what if and it, it made sense, sense. <laughs> I, I feel like what's sense? coming now this summer with Deadpool is just like you know just a fun here's all these different characters from different worlds and it's going to be fun it's going to be a lot of silly stuff it's going to be a lot of you know Illuminati type moments that are just like Angels. cool and oh here's so and so and here's the movie suit and this that and the third but to, to say like oh okay this is going to be like a, the new end game or infinity war is going to set up or fix all the shit. I don't, I don't personally see that as, as what's going to go down. I could be wrong. Uh, hey, we'll see. Hey, fantastic four is the movie bro. that we got to, that's, 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 that's my, that's my, wait, 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 that's wait, wait, my wait. savior film. Right, time out, time out, time uh-oh, out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nobody on this panel and especially not me says that uh-oh. I wanted to nostalgia with Superman at all. I never said that. I want a good Spider-Man. film. I, love I want a I, with Spider Man and all that. Okay, yeah. with Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. I look nostalgia is basically there. I didn't say. I just said a well written film. That's mm-hmm. what it was. A well written film. And yes, those characters were in there, but it was mm-hmm. done correctly. 
Yeah, I'm not saying it's, I'm not basically saying that nostalgia is not going to be there with Deadpool, but it's important for you to make they sure they got to do it right on point. They have Nostal- to do it right and don't just yeah. throw characters just in there because I'm telling yeah, you, you just, I don't want to just see no dad going Taylor Swift roaming in now just because she was at a fucking right. football game. Yeah, man, nostalgia, n- the nostalgia in Spider Man yeah. was three characters that made sense that confined right. to the story and there was a right. cohesive story te- told. There's been the only person not rumored to be in Deadpool is my mama. Everybody's uh, yeah. rumored to be in that motherfucker. Yo. Say my mama Everybody. too. Everybody's rumored to be in, bro. And they've already I'm still like... season, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Why do you need to overstuff a fucking film? And on top of that, I am highly upset if, in fact, you don't put Domino back in this film. If she doesn't show up, I want to know why. If you can afford to bring everybody else back, mm-hmm. but you don't bring that character back, what sense does it make? But she's not in it at all, I don't think, bro. I don't think she's in it. And that's what I'm saying. She's saying that she's not in it. it, yeah, it, it look, anything it. can change. But if you don't bring that character back, why? What was yeah. the reason? Yeah. What was the reason why you but didn't she, bring she that character was back? Perfect as Domino, dog. Perfect. And we got no hot toy. Go figure. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, why? Yeah. Look, I'm not saying that I don't want Deadpool to be good. I hope it's great. But I'm not willing to put all eggs in one basket to say that this is going to save the MCU. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, I, can't, I think you're conflating. You, I think you're conflating what we're talking about here. We're mm-hmm. not talking about do we think it'll be a good movie or a fun movie. Mm-hmm. His question was, do we think this is the savior of the fucking MCU? That's mm-hmm. the big difference between do we think it's going to be a fun movie? I think everybody on this panel, mm-hmm. no matter what, thinks it's going to be. Oh, that'll be a fun movie. Deadpool's going to be funny, yeah. and there's going to be mm-hmm. Wolverine, and that fight's going to be probably cool, and there'll probably be yeah. some really cool. Bare minimum, I'm that is a big difference between all uh, the safe. It's going to turn everything around for MCU. Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. almost impossible for a singular film to do to because do, right. Marvel didn't get where it is now because of one bad film. So I don't think mm-hmm. one good film is going to put them right. That's like saying you could turn like a bad diet around with just eating one salad. Come on now. I think what it is is people are misconstruing misconstruing the fact that he's in the TVA and he can do anything in the TVA as far mm-hmm. as taking changing stuff, changing going time. that time stream, right, yeah. right, right, going in and erasing shit. People were thinking that, oh well, he got TVA power, so he can do whatever he wants. He can fix whatever he wants. So that's what people are misconstruing. But bro, I listen. We'll see how they use it. We'll see how listen, they use it. Listen, if it's a good film, I'll give him credit. Mm-hmm. But I'm still not going to say that it's going to be because here's the thing: you can put that movie well, out there, Deadpool, yes, man. I tell you that you you said it right. You ruffle some feathers, bro, yeah. a, and that's exactly what I wanted to do because people need to realize if you listen, they can put this movie out and people will be super fucking excited about it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this film is dope. This is going to be incredible. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. it's, I cannot wait. Yeah, this that and the third. Yo, this needs to make this much money. Oh yeah, Marvel's back. Then there's a dud right after that, bro. What happens? That's what I mean. Then we're having this discussion more, again. You need more than we're one having the same discussion again, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Because what's what's coming after this? Like Armor Wars, is, or is that canceled? Well, they got canceled, right? I nah, because movie after be this ahead. one, nothing this year. This only movie this year. The rest of the year. This is the only movie this year, right? So this is the only movie that's basically dropping. I think that on the timeline right now will be this film. This film. I think after that is going to be uh, uh, Captain America. I think, I think that's the first. They keep changing the damn titles. So I don't know what the fuck the movie well, going to uh, be called. The, the Thunderbolts just went into production, so they're shooting now. Hold up. I thought they were. I'm so confused. Hell no, no they're, Negro, they're they, just, right they teased us with that one way they're back when. Right they barely, yeah. Orange Pew is already saying she's on the set right now. They are shooting right now. Wow. So they're definitely shooting. They're in production I believe, right now. I believe February for Captain America and then July for Fantastic Four. That's yeah. the only thing we know for sure for 25. Yeah. And then Thunderbolts is when, like, 2027? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It, it probably, uh, I don't know. It most like, it, it's going to be a TV show, right? Or no, they upgraded that to a movie, huh? What? A movie. What? Armor Wars? Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts? Thunderbolts? Thunderbolts was always going to be a movie. Always yeah. going to be a movie? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah, Armor Wars was... Armor Wars was the one, Armor that, Wars was was the one that went... Okay, yeah. okay. TV show right. to yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we don't... Now don't know. Uh, they're going to put that shit... They're going to be like, uh, we never said that. That's a TV show again. They're making Armor Wars a movie. And Blade what? just lost another actor today. What? Yeah. Which actor? Ali? No, he's like, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking out of here, bro. Yo, he said, you know what? 
Don't call. Don't call me. I'll call don't you. Call me. Right, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I have my people call your people. Thank, thanks, yeah. y'all. It's been real, real right. dumb. Peace. Exactly. This yeah. is insane, bro. It's definitely insane. We just have to actually wait and see. All we're saying is we want a successful franchise. I want a successful fucking film, but I'm not willing to bet and say that this film is going to be Marvel Jesus. That's it. That's I'm not. I can't That's say that, saying. bro. It's, they they so can so put. They so you don't think with the TVA, and I, mean, I, I maybe I'm like I said, maybe I misconstrued into being too modest. Okay, but he's he's, he's going to fix anything. But here's here's thing. what we're saying. You can even fix if, whatever, but that it, doesn't it, mean that you're going to actually fix the franchise. Yeah, true. That's what the point. Public perception. Even if it was, even if it was a great film that set up a whole bunch of shit for Marvel and was like a continuity driven film that sets mm-hmm. up a whole bunch of stuff universally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even if it was perfect, like even if I'm even like, oh shit, all right, cool. I'm not a Deadpool guy, but this was like amazing. Right, right, right. right, right. They still have to keep it going. Execute. So it's like, right. like you can't execute, have like a, a a track record like they've had for the past few years, right. and then have one great film and say MCU is just back. They, I think it takes to... more than one good film to because it wasn't one film that got them off track. It wasn't like after right. Black Widow. MCU ain't the MCU anymore. It took no, a lot of films. It wasn't even one film to and get them on. And, and they didn't Widow even get on with one film. Bro, Black it took, it took a, 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 a it series took a of lot films. Of work. It right. took a lot of work to get off the track. It's going to take a right. lot of work to get back on. Yeah. And, and yeah. It's like they have yeah. to, I think they have to go back to formula. Like they have to make Deadpool connect to the next film. They have to have an end, end scene where it connects to the next. It can't be no just bullshit scene. Mm-hmm. It has to be connected again. They have to get back to the connecting tissue of what formula was before that made them winners. If we don't do that, then we're going to be back in the same city where this year or last Bruh, year. It's, it's, it, here's the thing. I just want these motherfuckers just to write good films, bro. <laughs> Plain and simple. Write good mm-hmm. films. Now, Listen, we didn't get a chance because, like I said, in the second time, and it's getting late. We didn't get a chance to talk about the X Men. X Men ninety seven. That's actually uh, going to be dropping this week. I know a lot of people are excited about that. We will go into yeah. that. Actually, we'll go into that on next Monday when we get a chance to actually watch the episodes this week. We'll actually dedicate the conversation to that next week because uh, I know we we didn't get a chance to kind you know of how many episodes that. are dropping. I don't see the thing is there's people once? that have actually seen three. But I don't know if they're dropping all of them at once. I think it's going to okay. be weekly. Okay. Mm. I don't think It'd it's going to be nice be a if they game. gave us a, at least a couple for the first week. I think it's going to be back. three. Very yeah. excited. Okay. Very excited. That's yeah, what I'm going to say. I mean, about all that. of us are. I'm kind of mad. Okay, I'm okay two. Too. All right. Yeah, a lot. All of us obviously around the age where we were grew up on on how amazing that show was. There was X Men was mm. like untouchable for a period in the '90s. <laughs> so well, a lot of us are very. I, I haven't watched any trailers, but I've seen some Man, stills matches, of the art style, yeah. and the art bro. style looks looks fire. So I can't. Yeah. I can't wait. I just um, you know, I, I feel I feel I'm bad for wrong, um, home, homeboy who got put out. Uh, yeah, he got fired. fired. Yeah, he got fired. For oh, yeah. yeah well, I, I wanted to talk about that, but so we, we... <laughs> yo, Jay, you hear why he got fired? Well, here's oh, the thing. But, but wait, wait a minute. That Disney movie. walked that back. I mean, not wait, yeah, they walked it back and said that there were okay. So you creative know when they always say creative differences, they yeah, say they fucked I up. I heard it's something different, but the creative differences. They said that the case is it's that. Then they always talk about the OnlyFans situation. OnlyFans so that's out there. But they're trying oh, to say that it wasn't fans? because of that's the what OnlyFans thing. They're saying what? it was because of something else. So they, yeah, they, 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 he, he was showing meat, Jedi pimp, showing meat. That's yeah, it, it was crazy. It's, it's, it's it's either because he was doing meat or he slept with somebody's son or something. Oh, oh no! Ooh, that's it, it's right it's, there. it's out there, Christopher. I don't know, I don't bro. Know like happened. right now, fire, when it comes fire. to midnight musing, it's on a hiatus right now. And to Rob, you know, because he's busy, he got a lot going on. I'm hoping we have it pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been fine with it because of Ramadan, man. I can't, I can't. I, I again, I need sleep and getting up and fast. I'm supposed my my ass is supposed to be asleep right now because yeah, I got to get yeah. up at five in the morning. Yeah. But Bad Batch is killing it. These last two episodes last week Fantastic. was fucking phenomenal. Fantastic. It was fucking uh, fun. You haven't watched I think it. Tech have is I gotta give him another dog. chance. Bro, oh, you yeah. gotta watch it, bro. I'm I just, you, I got, I gotta give them another oh. chance. As long as they, they made them badass bro. again, because they just. Hey, they y'all y'all see that purple listen. trooper? What the um? Uh, what the fix? Another chance. That's gonna be a hot. Dog. Oh. 
It's gonna be a hot toy. Bro, you gotta give it a chance. I'll Fucking give it a shot. That wolf, I got yeah. G wolf. Bro, bro, bro. bro. It's it's dope, bro. It's bro. what about it's, that all black joint though, bro? Listen, I, I bro. want I, that that all black. I think that's tech, bro. The, 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 the nah, nah, bro, that would be crazy. I think it's tech. I think it's tech. No, I no I fucking tech, way. I don't think tech died, though. I don't want it to I, be. I don't tech. think he died, but that's oh, crazy. But that, you know what? But if it's wow. tech, they are taking that moment away from him, bro. They're taking that moment away from us. Let him die. Let him be no. dead, bro. Bring back. I, I don't want it to be I tech, man. Tech because, I don't. Look, because uh, what's I my don't. man, the sniper? What's my boy? Um, Crosshair. Oh Crosshair was talking about he's not telling them everything about those tests they was running on him, trying to make them turn turn him into assassins. And old boy said you could have been one of us, but you didn't. But you didn't want you didn't want it when he was fighting him on on the waterfall. Bro, I don't want that to be tech. I'm oh, telling you, I don't. I know that is the running thing, but I do not want that to be don't, tech, bro. Don't do that to me. I don't already know that the season is going to end it. tragically. Oh, don't well, do it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting don't y'all back. It. I'm getting y'all back for ruining the Deadpool thing. So I'm don't, do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. That tech. can't be tech. It is. That tech. cannot be tech, bro. It, I don't it, it is. is. <laughs> and, and, look, and look how look 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 how when he when he saw um Omega how he paused a little bit. He paused like, oh, oh bro, you gonna make me go watch this motherfucking watch episode of shit. When he saw oh. Omega, when he saw Omega, he was shook. Like, oh, that's my little sister. Then he like, oh, he went back into orders when he got when he heard it on the mic when he got it on the headset. He snapped back into the assassin mode, bro. And then, bro, he could have easily killed because he's faster than than um than Crosshair now. Mm-hmm. He could have easily killed him on that. Well, Crosshair ball. doesn't have his accuracy right now. R- right, he's still oh, shook. Right. They tested, they tested it on him too. His yeah. hands on real because they were doing tests on trying to turn him into an assassin too. I just don't want it to be tech, bro. I I'm don't sorry, want it. Brother. If it's tech, that's, I'm sorry. that's gonna you hurt. Always come from oh, me for Superman. That's a and big you can't hurt. If it's tech. So bro. how about that? It's tech. Big it's hurt. Tech. It's tech. Bro, you. It's tech. <laughs> oh, I did want to ask y'all before oh, we. Uh... Then, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. And then look, you forgot the assassin got the headpiece too <laughs> on the side like tech that pumped down over his eye. Oh, uh, bro. Shout out, shout out to them for actually showing us what yo, the fuck a rangefinder does yo, in Star Wars. Yo, yo, Thank you. Going in. That's ten. That's ten. Vinny's going in. <laughs> hold up, Vinny, hold up. This hey, is hey, this hey, is him hey, right now. They mad. They mad. Yo, this they is him mad. right now, bro. They mad, Vinny. Huh? I'm acting like Ja Rule on Fifty Cent. I'm acting like Ja Rule right now. Yo, this is him right now. That's me. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Put my face on that. Put my face on that. <laughs> right. That's bro, oh. the, little, the, little, the, little, the little eye joint. All that oh man, that's tech. Watch it be yeah. tech next week. Don't Dark do that. The power that mean Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't, bro. I don't want that to be tech. If they do that to me, bro, I'm nah. Sorry. Bro, y'all kicked my ribs in tonight. They are, they are gonna go down bad. <laughs> I'm doing the Daniel son. I'm doing the Daniel son. Train kick on all y'all asses right now. Boy. I'm doing it. Yo, I don't want that. I'm doing I don't it. want that. I don't I'm want that. It. It's tech. I'm sorry. How many more? Hold up. We got how many more episodes left? Uh, four. I think four. Right? Can they go what? Ten? Because we still that? haven't seen a side yet. Yeah, she probably be next week. Man, it's going. Week. It's I forgot. It's going down, bro. It's going down. Yeah, I think, it's going I think, down. That night though, we're gonna get two. Well, it's gonna be. It seems like it's gonna be two episodes from X Men, and then yeah. one episode from of Bad, uh, Batch. Bad Batch. Right. So it's what like an hour and thirty minutes mm-hmm. of content that night for. And, for and I, room, think, I think I think she'll be. She's gonna be just a regular Fennec, not Robot Fennec, because like again. This wasn't around the time period of the Book of Boba, so I think so she's, she's regular. Be, she's still regular Fennec. She didn't yeah, get she's yet. still going to be the regular. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. But, but don't I do think, that. I don't think, do that. Uh, Filoni is trying to set up the the whole clone rebellion and how some of them went uh, after Bad Batch. I think it'll be about the clones that, are, that went to the rebellion. Because you know Rex was at what Rex was at uh, the Battle of Endor. Mm-hmm. He was a commander. Yeah, dude with the with the beard that was Rex. Mm-hmm. All white beard. So yeah. I think some of them guys are clones that are gonna go with the rebellion. So Filoni, I, I don't know how how true it is, but I think it's like a rumor about him wanting to do about those clones that got away from 
you know, with Wolf and all that, how we met up with him later on, but how some of them joined the rebellion. So I hope, mm -hmm. hopefully we're going to get, that'd be a good story to tell too. That's in my opinion. I just, I love the clone. Uh, nah, I'm good. talking about Quinlan Voss. I don't uh -huh. know if we'll get Quinn. No, we're not. Because around this time, Quinlan is believed to, Quinlan, well, we might. No, 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 no. Because Quinlan was with, with a, he was with her for a while. They died together. Yeah, but you remember. So what they're doing with this, bro, how they're doing, because they're keeping it. There's, this is a sign of resurrection. He doesn't even know she's alive right now. Well, hold up. But Quin, Quinlan is still alive then. He's still yeah, alive but too. remember, Quinlan and Obi-Wan buried her on Dathmere. They took her back to Dathmere and buried her at that point. Okay, talking about during Clone Wars or in the yeah. books? During Clone Wars. What? It, nah, this was even, at, they took her back, even after Clone Wars, they took her back to Dathomir and buried her because so she sacrificed is, herself this, for Quinlan. Right, right. So she's buried, but right now she's back. Because in the books, they were a couple. They were together for a minute and they died together in the books. Yeah. So, you know. Mm -hmm. I know my books don't mean shit now to Disney, but well, it was in the books. In the books, they don't give a shit remember, about your books. Yeah, 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 <laughs> remember, yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. saved or she, yeah, she sacrificed herself for Quinlan. Right. Okay. 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 You yeah. know what I mean? Remember that? Because Dooku yeah. was ready to strike the killing blow. Yeah. yeah she stepped yeah. in the middle and and sacrificed herself. You know what I mean? With Clone that Wars didn't even didn't even yeah. show uh, Quinlan's whole real assignment where he went undercover and became a dark sider with Dooku. Mm -hmm. That whole yeah, it's in the books, books, bro. Christopher is in the books, man. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah. is. That whole one with, with Quinlan, he was a yeah. Dark that whole storyline with yeah, right. He went undercover and worked with Dooku, and he became influenced by the dark side. It was um Ventress that brought him back back to the light. Actually, that's how they got together, and they yeah. died together in the books. But, there's I mean, a, there's a chick, Michaela Cowell. I think she could do Ventress a little oh, bro, bit better yeah, than Lupita. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. Michaela Cole all day, bro. I want her to yeah. be Ventress. So yeah, here it is. Here it is. Hold on, because I did this the other day. Let me see. Hold on, here. hold on, because she looks. Cause she can so rock much. the bald look a little bit better. Nah, That's what I'm in, in, in how they got her with the with the little haircut in the side and the little fade. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I've been oh, saying that's, that. I, that's I said that all day, bro. I've been saying that yeah, from she jump. Would kill that. She, she would put her kill all that. white body paint. I, yeah, bro. Boom. Yeah. She would kill that, bro. Michaela I'm Cole would kill it. I've been saying that. Bro. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's just no no if ands buts about no. it right here. All she got to get is that like the hissy voice. Yeah. Yeah. And get that delivery. Yeah. Yeah. And then boom, you're really talking. But the look is right there. Boom. Right she, there, in, bro. In, in in the books, Ventress died like what three times? Anakin killed her once. Mm -hmm. I think she died. She died with Quinlan, <laughs> and then she uh -oh. died again on Dathomir. I think. Yep. Hold damn in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's Pedro Lopez is an ass. Now, he's he's the ass, bro. <laughs> Yo, look at Toya. She's like, yeah, uh, Charlie Neon Corn, but for me, LOL, I'm calling it tonight. That's my cue. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, guys. It, it is about that time. You, uh, <laughs> you already know that. She you put it queen. down, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and cut. Anyway, yeah, and cut. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Another great <laughs> show. Another great discussion. We will be covering X-Men 97 next Monday. We'll move that to discussion until then. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, V, what's going on, man? What's what you tell them what's going down, bro? Not much. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I'm just uh, looking forward to X Men this week, uh, catching up on some reading and being back here to talk about X Men 97. I'm sure we're all gonna be geeking and watching that shit on Wednesday. Hell yeah, hell yeah, in the room. Uh, what's going oh. on? <laughs> Mm -mm. <laughs> they, they, one of them got the guitar ready, bro. Bro, that's me, bro. Hey, yo, Jay, Jay, we was at, we was at the con. <laughs> we was yo. at the con, and I said, Yo, V, he probably had one of. The <laughs> yo, he can't even get it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you know it's funny because Amber, my girl, goes like, "What did he say?" I was like, "I said what?" I said, "I said nothing." I said nothing. <laughs> yo, yo, look, are you? You got it. Go ahead. Uh, That's it. He can't even say it. He can't get it out. He was talking about the lightning and one of the pieces. 
Yeah. Jay, he said, well, Vinny got the bitches up on a ladder holding the lamp so that he'd get the ladder. <laughs> and, and Toya just shakes her head, right? And I said, um, I said, I said, of course. How do you think I get the light like Alex Ross? And then Leo goes, the legs be tired. And I, and I said, shut up. You're breaking till four. Get back. <laughs> and then everybody goes, Damn. what do you say? And I said, I said, no. babe. Bro, then, make, yo, watch Toya bro. just slipping through the bro, bro. Like, don't make Toya bro. come down the steps. That's oh, hilarious. bro, oh, that's hilarious. Oh. You, you are, you are stupid, bro. Leo, that's you're, you're dumb. Funny. <laughs> yeah, bro, that's, bro, funny. Like, that's funny, bro. bro good oh my god, bro. That's hilarious. Though. Wow. Anyway, oh, that was that's stupid. Funny. Wow, that's funny. bro. That is funny. <laughs> Jason, what you got going on, Y'all bro? Y'all stupid, man. Um, what you got? I'm going to keep it. Man, I got, I'm got. i doing some little G.I. Joe projects. I'm got some classified. I'm building something for somebody. Uh, oh. That's it, man. That's the torch. I, I can't. Oh. Oh. I can't even explain myself tonight, dog. Oh, bro. oh wait, wait. Pause, pause. Hold up. I want to apologize. I don't know what the hell is happening upstairs in my man cave. I, do. With my, I don't know what's going on. So Brett always upstairs. happens in that room. So my bad. Nah, I've been in there for weeks. I've no problems. <laughs> Bruh, tonight it was like, oh no. Yo, you know how like when tonight. you, oh. you know how them uh, ghost movies where you move and and oh. the poltergeist follows you to the new house. You're, yeah, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> the internet Bruh, connected be following you to house to yeah. house. No, I'm like, yo, what is going? On? I haven't had no problems. <laughs> tonight the internet said you are not getting on tonight. Bro. Nah, bro. Go they shut you down. Go downstairs. They shut you down, bro. Yep. It be that way sometimes. Uh, who, who your provider? Negro Net? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, like, what did they, what did they do? Provider, door of the Explorer. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to switch providers. It's this shit. <laughs> Yeah. Negro man, it's just following you down the block. Shit. No, Damn, that's some good coverage. No. You know how like T-Mobile no. and Verizon, they got like coverage all over the map. No. Like this Negro is- Net must have the whole colors this and the whole Negro shit. Negro said Negro Net. <laughs> NNT. NNT. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. yeah. Ain't nobody, don't, don't copyright no. that shit now. It's mine. NNT, baby. That's all I do. NNT. Damn. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh, Copernicus, what you got going on, bro? We gotta uh, get a drink, though. We gotta get a drink because you off the chain, bro. I mean, we bar up. <laughs> Jack and Coke. That's right. usually my uh, that's that's that's, that's, that's my my go to. Uh, um, but yeah, man. Other than uh, bullshitting and joking with the boys, you can always catch me uh, on Wednesdays, of course, as well. Um, we got a little little some some talk about. Hopefully, I shouldn't drop a little something. On Friday. On Friday, we gotta drop Get something, Friday. bro. Cause I can't, I can't be pulling the rabbit out of the hat every week, bro. Uh, I'm be- saying, shit. Oh. That, uh, Wednesday, you just gonna see me. I'm just gonna be butt ass naked on stream. Leo, he gonna be knocked out. Oh. Everybody gonna be knocked out. <laughs> it's oh, gonna be oh, me. Oh, oh, hey yo, oh, hey, yo. Oh, oh, I don't give a damn. Hey, yo, bro. yo, man, thank you for the 499 <laughs> yeah, super chat, Hunter Backman, man, that back no, no man. Doubt. Thank you so much for that, bro. So, My so, dude. So, and but other than that, man, man we back and at it on Figure Flex Friday. Y'all, y'all make sure y'all get your goddamn motherfucking oh, submissions yeah. in. Hold up. When do we start? On the first of when do we start? We in April. We still in we still in March. Some people chilling. Make sure you get your ladies. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> women's his, history month. Make sure you get your ladies on there. Oh, you know what? We want to yeah. see. We we trying to see some. All right. And there's some good figures out there. If you know if I if I want to quote oh. my brother, uh, brother cousins, oh. boot it, boot, 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 boot it, watch. Yeah, yeah. We want to see. We, we gotta get that. Uh, we gotta get that. Um, oh that, uh, man, what's my girl from Star Wars? Um, in in uh the Emperor's Reba? chair. In the Emperor's chair. Um. Uh. Uh. Bo. Have you seen, have you seen the statue? Uh. Oh my god. Oh, you. Ray. 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 Ray in yeah. The yeah. Chair. Oh, oh. There you go. That'll be a flex. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah, we see something like that. It'd be dope, man. That'd Definitely. Be be <laughs> anyway, man, make sure you get your submissions in by Thursday. You know, you already know what it is. Figure Flex Friday. Yes, we got Say What Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Thursday, we actually have another collector's therapy. I'll have Susan Damon on. Lumia be there. Also, uh, we're going to actually have Nilda on there as well. What so day is that? Definitely- what day is that? 
That's on Thursday. So we're going to basically just talk about collecting family, <laughs> you know, connection. Oh also, what we need to do to get more women connect collectors in the community and what we can do better to bring them on in. So we're going to definitely have a conversation about that. Uh, that a host of other things. So definitely um, an in collector's lounge and then back here next Sunday. I mean, next Monday uh, to talk about some things. So definitely. Stay hey, tuned. my twin sister might pull up. Geraldine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Geraldine might pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. She was she was an extra, y'all. You know, she was an extra on Joanna Man. But we we talk about that later. You know, we talk about that on backstage. He like, <laughs> said, "Damn, we got manhandled on Women's Month. I'm for equality, <laughs> but you ain't never Yo. doing that to me." <laughs> <laughs> they, they try to ruin my Hell yeah, bro! <laughs> you already tech, know. Tech was an assassin. That's a pop. <laughs> They try to ruin my dreams tonight. That's all right. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Until next week, have a nice one. I'm taking my ass to bed because, yeah, I got to get ready to eat. Hashtag rogues ass. Bring it back. Word.